So in today's video, we're finally taking a look at Pow World, which is apparently Pokemon with guns. You know what? I'll take it. So we have a few different options here. We can name our world, multiplayer on or off, normal difficulty. We'll go ahead and keep that. And there are some custom settings as well. Pretty much what you'd expect because this game does have some survival elements as well. So lots of different ways to kind of customize your experience. All right, so real quick, we'll go through a few of the presets. Pretty samey here. We have some decent hairstyles. Here's some of the male avatars there as well. Oh man. <laughs> I feel like this guy's head's just a little too big, you know what I'm saying? You're finally awake. I'm sorry. Thus begins my journey with my Nintendo Switch. All right, suddenly I'm not on the beach anymore. And I feel like I want to use some of my RPG knowledge to go backwards before I go frontwards. So let's completely avoid the quest objective to see if maybe, I don't know, there's some Easter eggs behind me somewhere. We got a little stamina bar. You press shift for that. Very straightforward. Look, 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 brah. You see that thing over there? <laughs> Whatever this thing is, only expert gamers find. Oh, it's my Nintendo Switch. <laughs> or my, my Steam Deck, I guess. F to pick up things, the right button. Got a little bit of lighting effects here on the fire though. Oh. <laughs> oh, now look at this. As I come back this way, there's another chest, but this looks like, okay, you need a copper key to unlock this. Um, so <laughs> I guess hopefully I remember that that chest exists once I finally start finding some copper keys, right? All right, so my very first quest in this tutorial is to pick up some fallen branches or hit some trees to get some wood. So we'll go ahead and grab that. I do. Lazy FG does really appreciate not having to have any like pickup animations. You can just like literally just spam F and just pick up stuff off the ground. You love that. But yeah, just drive by looting when it comes to things on the ground. Absolutely a fan of that. You guys know Lazy FG loves a good drive by loot. And I leveled up. And we can also, oh wait, he has a red skull next to his name. I'm not sure if he's aggro, uh, but my next quest is to uh, punch trees to get <laughs> some wood, as you do in true survival game fashion. All right, so my next quest is to build a primitive workbench, um, but I definitely want to get a little bit closer to the water. You can see some ore here. Can you punch ore out of a rock? Ah, uh, maybe? All right, this looks like a, ooh, look at this flat plane over there. Okay, this looks like the perfect place to set up like our very first temporary base, right? Is there swimming? A little bit of swimming. Is there diving? Hold on. Can I find some deeper water? All right, now let's test. Can you actually, <laughs> this water is nowhere near as deep as I thought it might be. Dude, I gotta test this now, I have to know. Can you actually dive? All right, as far as I can tell, you cannot go underwater in this game just yet. And now my stamina is, oh yeah, there goes my health. <laughs> I can make it. Oh, come on. No, dude. I thought it was okay. <laughs> you can also see my skin is a little wet looking. So I'm sure that's going to impact me if I go maybe into like a cold region or something like that. But I kind of made that up. First treasure chest, gold coin, some pal spears and a small pal soul. Um, press Q to throw a spear and capture a pal. Weakened pals are easier to catch. Okay. All right, so now I'm back to this nice flat stretch of land where I'm gonna go ahead and build my very first base. Um, but look at this. I'm not ready to attack any pals or anything like this, but you can already see they're gonna be some like, I guess basic rarity versions of these pals as well as some special sparkly versions as well. Sparkly versions, FG, really? Is that the terminology? Hey man, <laughs> it's the best I can come up with on short notice. All right, so here goes my little primitive workbench. Go ahead and put this bad boy right over here. So next, move near the plan location for the primitive workbench. Hold F to build the structure. Okay. All right, so press and hold F to build. Hold C down to cancel. And you can see here, you can also assign workers in the future. Okay. And we have just built our first structure, a primitive workbench. Done and done. So next up in the tutorial, open the technology screen from the menu and unlock the PAL sphere. All right, so here is my little technologies tree, primitive workbenches, stone axes, stone pickaxe, handheld torches, wooden clubs. And then here on level two, I'm looking for this PAL sphere. So I'll go ahead and unlock that. And it looks like I can do more. So let's go ahead and do a campfire. That sounds like it makes sense. Um, a wooden structure set, or can I just do all of these right now? 
was like, ah, oh, come on. And without doing anything at all, just exploring the world and seeing these pals out in the world, they automatically get added to your pal decks or your, your Pokedex. All right, so in order for me to craft this pal spear, I need to get some stones first and a palladium fragment. I already got plenty of wood. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> so let's start running around and grabbing some of these stones here. Really easy to find, as you guys can see here. So until we get like an actual mining pick, we'll avoid those rocks and pick up these easy to pick up ones for right now. All right, so I'm still missing palladium fragments, but I think right now while I'm here, I'm just gonna go ahead and start building um, some of these other tools because I know I'm gonna need them, right? So we'll go ahead and make this wooden club. Um, you do have to have like an active role in crafting here, right? So I'll go ahead and grab that and I'll show you what I mean. So here's a torch. I'm gonna start production. In order for me to actually start production, I need to hold down F. So I need to like be at the workbench in order for this to, to occur. I can't just like queue it up and run off and go do something else. That's probably where workers come in um, a little bit later in the game, but we'll have to see. Um, I can tell you right now, the I button does not open up your inventory. <laughs> I'm not even sure why, dude. All right, <laughs> wait, now, now I need to know, which button actually opens your inventory? This is a real game-breaking issue right here, you know what I'm saying? It's tab, dude, it's tab. All right, that's fine, that's fine, that's fine. Um, okay, so here I am, fully equipped. I got my wooden club, my torch, my stone pickaxe, and my stone axe. It looks like they're all equipped at the same time, which I really do appreciate, but let me see how much I actually appreciate it. Yeah, 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 this is good. So here's my torch, looking good. Once again, good lighting effects, right? And my little pickaxe, my axe, and then my wooden club, dude. Hey, where are you going? <laughs> oh, a little dodge maneuver. <laughs> he looks so happy to be getting smacked in the face. Oh, okay. Um, I gotta watch out for my stamina bar. Literally the Dark Souls of Pokemon. Ooh. And he brought his boys to jump me. <laughs> okay. He actually gets stuck on the tree. Like he's attacking the tree. The tree's actually taking damage. I can't hit this guy for some reason. I'm about to die. I'm about to die. Well, you know what? You're coming with me, buddy. <laughs> You're coming with me. I would have won if it wasn't for you jumping me. All right. Dude, I am playing a raid. All right, so right now, I don't have any food. I don't really have a way of, like, uh, replenishing my HP. This dude is super angry, but still so smiley at the same time. Oh, my God, calm down, dude. <laughs> no, <laughs> too hot for TV. <laughs> I feel so taken advantage of, dude. All right. <laughs> what? Respawn here. I didn't, I didn't get a chance to make a bet or anything, uh, but I think I'm fine. What is this, a little Skyrim statue? Oh, this is fast travel. Hello, there's NPCs out in the world. So once again, um, Pokemon with guns. This guy's not messing around with some wooden club like I was doing. Oh, here, take some basic supplies. You need to toughen up if you want to survive out here. Well, he get, she gave me tin wood. Thank you. All right, well, I'm not too far from home because I decided to build. Nope, I didn't decide to build here. Where did I decide to build? All right, let's go ahead and test some fall damage here. I have 341 HP, no fall damage. We got all these little sheep guarding my corpse. As you guys can see, when you die, you do lose everything. But here's my little bag. Press X to take everything, and I am back in business. <laughs> I'm just taking my aggressions out, dude. But they're, they're so cute. All right, I need to start building some, uh, some, uh, some spheres here so I can actually get to the point of the game, which is, you know, collecting bootleg Pokemon. So it's almost sunset, so if you want to kind of see how dark it gets in Pal World, here's kind of an idea. So you might actually want to have a torch. So my next quest is finally crafting these Pal Spears, right? This is an item that captures Pals when thrown, mass produced. It's only effective on low level Pals, which I think we all kind of expected they're going to be different levels of these Pal Spheres. So once again, we'll go ahead and craft three of them. And since it's getting a little dark, I'm going to go ahead and build a camp. Dude, what is going on? <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead and build a campfire right here. Sheep! You do get interrupted if someone tries to attack you, bruh. <laughs> Roll the corpse into the ocean. Leave no trace, baby. <laughs> Okay. Uh, oh, it's getting a little getting a little chilly out. All right, so let's uh continue doing our little campfire here first and foremost. 
And there we go. So now we don't have to worry about freezing to death. Um, I did pick some berries a little bit earlier. So let's go ahead and craft some baked berries because that sounds good. Some fun animations when it comes to cooking. Once again, I'm holding down the F button. I can't like leave and go someplace else, right? So um, once again, I feel like workers or something like that are gonna be very important in the future. Just so, you know, you're not stuck here just kind of watching these numbers go up, right? And as far as I can tell, there is a shelf life on food, right? So you can see here, my baked berries are slowly going down. I also have some lamb over here that's going down as well, so. But I bet you if I cook this lamb, so it has four minutes left, right? So now that lamb went from lasting like only four or five minutes to up to 20 minutes when you actually cook it and turn them into some lamb ball kebabs. So it looks like as you level, you're gonna get stat points. Right now, I only have two, which seems like a, a pretty small amount considering my base stats here. So what if I put a little bit into weight or what if I do, uh, there's no strength. Um, oh, work speed, huh? Defense is just flat, you can't increase that. You have your attack and then you have your stamina, your HP, got it, all right. So the next thing I need to do for this tutorial is to craft this pal box. Um, this is gonna be a facility for storing captured pals. Pals inside gradually recover HP. Area around this facility becomes your base. Okay, so this is gonna be like your main little section here. So let's, uh, oh, it's bigger than I thought. Don't do it, FG. <laughs> That's what she said. And pal box is now completed, okay. So here in the pal box management menu, I guess these are gonna be where all your pals are. This is gonna be your active party. If you press V, there's some missions here that are specific to the base. So you can see these are not the same missions that you have in the tutorial. Um, so build a wooden chest, deploy a pal to work in the base. Okay, a little bit of slave labor already. And of course your fast travel points that you've unlocked. And it looks like the world can get decently big here. Yeah, this is a pretty nice sized world. And remember, this is multiplayer. All right, so now it's time for me to finally capture my very first pal. So let's go ahead and beat this guy up just a little bit. <laughs> just weaken him up, weaken him up. And then I'm gonna press Q. Oh man, that was fast. Capture rate is 97%, 99. And I got my first pal. And then I can press E to, to bring him out. <laughs> where, where are you going, little buddy? Oh, that's kind of unexpected. So he's just mining. Or, all right, let me just kind of get away from this little mining area. Maybe it's because I'm in the vicinity of my home that he's doing like, like crafting type of activities. Let's see. All right, so now that we moved out of the home, he's not messing with anything. But I think once we're in this line, I'm making up some of this. <laughs> All right, so this is my very first pal, my Cattiva. While in my team, Cattiva helps me carry supplies and also increases my player's max carrying capacity as well. Um, minor injured, sorry about that. I, I can't imagine where you got that minor injury from, you know what I'm saying? Um, and you can also see the stats here, gathering, mining, transporting, handiwork. Um, a coward, oh, so there's some passive skills. Dude, am I playing Darkest Dungeon? So mine is 10% attack because they're a coward, but they're also aggressive, so they get that 10% attack back to be just flat, but they still lose some defense here, so <laughs> whatever. And then once again, going back to the pal box, if I need to rest my little cat Tiva, build her HP back up, I can just put her inside the box, and then when I want her out, slide, drag and drop, and now she's out of my party, very cool. All right, so let's work on trying to get ourselves a full team then. So we'll throw out our cat Tiva here, we're in combat, buddy. What you doing? <laughs> Very cool. Oh, I'm supposed to be capturing these guys. All right, let's go ahead and capture this little sheep here. We killed this chicken, unfortunately. Capture rate is going up, up, and there we go. Cool, cool. So let me see, can I have more than one? Okay, so I can only have one pal at a time. <laughs> Oh no, um, but sometimes my pals have some activatable abilities as well. So fluffy shield, give me a fluffy shield, little lamb ball. Ah, oh, well look at that. There's a wandering merchant just wandering. Hold on, let me chase this guy down. All right, so yeah, that was the fastest merchant of all time, dude. I could not catch that guy. And it seems to absolutely pay to kind of go off the beaten path because I found these little chests over here. Oh, a copper key. Dude, just in time. And what's this? Um, and some journals here as well. So it looks like if you want to get some lore and some background of, you know, what's going on in the world of Power World, you absolutely can. Um, but right now, I want to go use this copper key on that chest before I completely forget about it. All right, so back to the very beginning of the game. And here is the very first chest that we came across. 
Um, gold coins, bread, and an old bow schematic. All right, so my current mission is to deploy a pal to work the base. So we'll go over here to my pal box and very easy UI here, right? Just take this little lamb ball, slide him right over here. Now I have a pal at my base working it, <laughs> whatever that means. Thanks, buddy. You're doing a good job. Pals without beds will get stressed. Oh, dude, I got you. So right now I have two different bed options. I have a shoddy bed, this is for humans, and then there is the straw pal bed. All right, so this is the one that we're gonna go ahead and make for our pals. Since we have two pals, um, let me go ahead and give you guys, dude, I'm gonna give you guys the best view of the house. Right over here, baby. Oh, hey! Well, thank you! All right, so this is exactly what I was thinking about earlier. Like having a, you know, hold down F to build all your buildings, I thought was gonna get really kind of repetitive, but you don't have to worry about it. So not only does the pal that you have assigned to your base help, um, the pal that you have in your active party also helps as well if they're nearby. So that's very good. You don't have to do anything. They just literally just get to work. <laughs> Thanks, pals. Oh, look at what we have here. Distraction, baby. Well, oh, level 15. All right, all right. You're free to go. All right, so it looks like I got to build some boring stuff here as well. So we'll go ahead and build this chest. I want to put, I want to build it like right here next to my little pal teleporter. Oh, this is kind of finicky. That's a little, little, little finicky, little finicky. And then can we do like a triple? Can we all help on the same box? You absolutely can. He just got there a little late. <laughs> and you can absolutely set yourself on fire. Oh my God, dude. Uh, hold, hold on, I can solve this. <laughs> wait, wait. <laughs> There's no, well, there is stop, drop, and roll. Whee! <laughs> there, there you go. All right, so I've done all the quests for base level one. I built my wooden chest. I deployed a pal to work it. Um, so now I can upgrade this bad boy. So now I can have two pals in my base and I can, um, I guess, eventually expand how many bases I have total. <laughs> Dude, you can just spam these Pokeballs. I'm sorry, P pal spheres. Now, of course, spamming a bunch of pal spears out like that is gonna drain your reserves quite a bit. So um, I guess get used to mining these little palladium fragments as you see them in the world. Dude, I get such a kick out of my little pals helping me craft almost everything. Like, I, it's kind of adorable. It really is. <laughs> and they're so proud too. Like, yeah, couldn't have done it without me. I'm busy, see you later. I do like how easy it is to unlock new things to craft. So you can see here, it pretty much goes in kind of a linear fashion. Um, so I'm gonna go for this common shield, this stone sphere, cloth outfit, a feed box. Dude, I gotta feed my pals. An alarm bell. Bell that sets the alert status for pals in the base. Change the pal behavior to either attack invading enemies or focus entirely on work whenever you like. Dude, I need to make sure that my bases occur. And then there's a hanging trap. Oh my God, that's morbid. Um, catches pals that pass through. Only effective on small pals and humans? <laughs> wow, I'll buy it. So apparently none of my pals know how to cook because they will help me like build things, chop down trees, mine, but they won't help me fry an egg. <laughs> oh my God, I did it again. I did it again. Dude, I can't help but walk over my campfire once I'm done cooking. I can't. Oh my God. Oh, and it also looks like you unlock new skills as your pals level up as well. All right, so my very first outfit, a cloth outfit, very straightforward. Defense 15, HP 70, protects against the cold of the night. Well, let's test that because I am a, a tad bit nipply. All right, so you can see my screen is a little cold and uh, we'll go here, we'll put this on. Oh my boy, it does change my look and hey, look at that. I'm nice and warm, very nice. Oh, you hungry little buddy? I got you. So yes, not only do you have to keep yourself fed, you also have to keep your active pals fed as well. But it looks like as far as the pals that are working your base, you do have this option to make a feed box. Um, so pals can basically feed themselves when they're hungry and you can just keep this in your base, that's cool. My next upgrade is getting rid of this wooden club that's almost broken anyway to replace it with a stone spear, has 10 more attack. Let's see what, let's see what my pokies look like. Ah, uh, eh. Not the best, <laughs> but you know what? It's an upgrade, I'll, I'll take it. Gonna use some of my stat points this time around to get as much stamina as I possibly can. So as you saw earlier, when it comes to building things, you either have to hold down the F button or have some of your pals help you out. But it looks like when it comes to just like building, you know, building foundations, you don't have to worry about that. They just instantly apply, right? So I'll go in here, go wooden foundation, and I'll go boop, and then I'll go boop. Do one more time, FG. Uh... <laughs> and I'll go boop, 
and boop. That looks like a, a pretty decent starting building. We'll put up some walls here, and this is super straightforward, right? If you play any type of survival, oh, if you play any type of survival game before, everything looks like it's gonna flow pretty easily. I'm gonna save that opening there to actually put a door. So we'll go ahead and put a front door, and we'll also have a back door. And I'm kinda mad that I didn't make any windows, hold on. But this is perfect to kinda figure out how to get rid of this. So if I don't want this anymore, disassembly mode. So we'll go ahead and press disassemble mode, get rid of that, and I think we get the uh, the stuff back, maybe? There we go, a little, little sunshine in, you know what I'm saying? So note to future self, when you're planning the location of your very first base, maybe don't do what FG did, <laughs> which, which is advice in itself, you know what I'm saying? But maybe don't do what I did and go for this stretch of land that doesn't really have a lot on it because your pals are gonna be constantly mining and chopping down whatever respawns in the area. So maybe go to a place that just has a lot of resources all over the place so that way you always have a constant stream of your pals working this location because you can see here, they don't really have a lot to do here in this location that I <laughs> that I picked, unfortunately. And just like in every survival game, Encumbrance is the final boss. <laughs> so I'm completely weighed down. I can't even move. Oh, what is this? Pal San? San. I'm, I'm just going to pretend San means sanity. Um, So Pal Sanity decreases while doing work. That makes sense. Causing him to slack off. Well, <laughs> what do you expect? Um, Build a hot spring or other facilities to get them back on the job. Will do. Base level three. So I need to build a feed box and I need to build some more beds for my little pals here. Easy. Build some more little pal beds out here. Now, I know what you're thinking, but don't worry about it, dude. Pals love sleeping outside. All right? <laughs> it's cool. I asked them. Like, this is like the perfect game for people like me that like to kind of play solo a little bit. Like, you're never really alone when you have your pals around. I'm sorry, that's terrible. So now we just made this feed box. Now, even though it looks really, really full, it's not. Um, so I guess what I'll do, um, let's go ahead and start, I guess, making some uh, kebabs here and uh, we'll fill this up. Actually, you know what? Maybe it wasn't such a bad idea to have such a nice little flat stretch of land here because I'm going to make myself a little backyard berry plantation. Look, look at this, look at this, you watching? Y'all gonna help me with this? Look at how, <laughs> look at how eager they are to work. All right, so let's see how cozy this truly is. So um, I can seed, throw some seeds out there. Good animation, you love to see. Let's get you a better view, oh yeah. All right, so now my red berries are completely planted. The next thing is to water them. Don't worry, it's working. <laughs> don't worry, don't worry, we're good. Looks like my little sheep over here ran out of sanity, got upset and went to bed in the middle of the day. Um, so I need to start building some things that entertain them. Um, they can't just like wake up and work, eat and sleep. Like that's gonna drive anyone crazy. Uh, that's a little too close to home, you know what I'm saying? So I'll definitely be on the lookout in the future for some like, I don't know, some entertainment things for my pals here. Um, but it looks like my little red berry patch is done and done. It's completely planted and watered. Um, so I guess I'll come back to that in a later time. So I got plenty of cats and chickens and sheeps in my base. I wanna get a little bit more diversity here. Ooh, a little bit of flavor text. So a fox spark is unskilled at controlling fire from the moment it is born and tends to choke on flames it breathes unintentionally. Fox spark sneezes are one of the leading causes of forest fires. <laughs> Dude, there's flying bootleg Pokemon as well. I feel like I can, maybe? I think, oh, so this is where arrows come in handy, right? I just can't like <laughs> yell him on the ground. Dude, I want a Nightwing. All right, buddy, you're level nine, I'm level seven. Let's do it. Just get him, oh, wow, he hits hard. Okay, watch this. We gotta use a little bit of gamerness, a little bit of gamerness. Get him, cat. Hold the aggro. Hold the aggro. Oh, you're doing some good damage. Oh, he's good. I'm going for the capture. I'm going for the capture. <laughs> oh, no. Dang it, he's out. I'm going to go for the capture again just because I don't want to. Oh, my God. Hold on. I got 100 HP. Do not let him replenish his. Oh, I'm out of balls. <laughs> What'd you say? Dude, I'm out of balls. <laughs> My cat's dead. Hold on. Sometimes there's balls in the ground. And it was right there. I was just about to unlock the fast travel point. <laughs> Hello. 
Okay, so my level seven cat needs to go back into the base there. We're gonna go ahead and bring our little fox over here to give him some levels. Really easy to see your corpse. You can see this big blue line off in the distance. That's my body. Um, level 16, all right, I'm getting a little closer. I could have easily killed that guy. Just needed one more ball. Oh, there goes a ball. See, this is the ball that I needed, dude. One more spear and I could have captured. Ooh, hey, little guys, little penguins. All right, let's hurry up and get our corpse here. There's a lot of uh, different, oh, this is a different, different, different type of Pokeball. A Mega Sphere, that's definitely what I needed. Man, there are a lot of poke. There are a lot of pals out here. <laughs> okay, okay. So I got a couple of Pokeballs here. I got a regular one and I have a Mega one. I definitely want to use the Mega one to get that uh, that deer that I almost killed. And I'm gonna go ahead and collect some of these as well. So I have a pretty major quest that involves me just collecting um 30 pals. So I'm just gonna just go crazy with it. Hey, buddy. That should be an easy capture. Got him pretty low, 61, 81, he's out. Hold on, let me give him a couple more pokes. Ah, oh, come on, dude. <laughs> One more time for the good time. All right, Gumas has been captured. A strange pal with a body resembling tree sap. It gradually loses strength if it has nothing to cover its body with, eventually rotting away. Oh, that's actually kind of sad. All right, this time I'm actually gonna go ahead and grab this fast travel point. Very nice. So this is where a lot of the diverse little uh, pals are. So this is going to be really good. There's also a chest over here that does not require a key. So we'll go ahead and grab this. Some arrows and some coins. Okay, now that it's dark, I don't even see that deer anymore. I'm going to grab this egg because I saw there's a, w a way that you can hatch eggs in the future. Um, here's a penguin. Hey, buddy. Pokeball. Oh, I'm out of Pokeballs. <laughs> I'm not going to use a Mega Ball on this guy. He's like low level. I'll worry about him a little bit later. Um, so yeah, never leave your base unless you're like stock stocked with some po Pal Spheres. All right, I'm going to go ahead and craft 11 Pal Spheres so I don't find myself in that situation again. And to be completely expected at nighttime, not only do the daytime Pals go to sleep, different types of Pals uh, come out at night. So we have this Daydream, which I'm going <laughs> to promptly attack. Dude, y'all trying to jump me? Man, these little hoots are strong. Hold on, I'm gonna back off, I'm gonna back off. I'm capturing them still. I have nine HP left. I'm not gonna make it. <laughs> Hopefully they can't swim. Okay, so what I wanna do, I wanna put this daydream in my base. I wonder if my daydream will continue working at nighttime since he's like a nighttime pal while all my little daytime pals sleep. I think that'd be kind of a, a neat thing, right? And it looks like it's true. So it looks like he's gonna work at night. I like that. Okay, nice attention to detail. Oh, this guy's trying to bust his boy out of jail. No, sir, buddy. <laughs> you shouldn't have come here. <laughs> you can't kill me in my base. <laughs> Hold on, I'll be right back. Give me four seconds. Oh my God, there's an entire war going on. So this is why you want to have some defenses. So dude, it gets dark at night, like really, really dark. Like to the point where you almost don't even want to leave your base. I mean, of course you have your torch, but you can't actually do anything with your torch out. Maybe, hopefully in the future, if the game has guns, maybe it has like a mining helmet that I can put on my head to always have light while I do things. All right, let's 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 uh, clean this corpse out of my base here. I don't need this stuff just stinking up the joint. <laughs> Get out of here, dude. Throw you off in the water. This is the, this is the best place. I'm glad I picked this location so I can get rid of corpses very easy. <laughs> Nice. I'm not sure about that UI element that says completed. That seems a little out of place, um, but it is beta. So maybe that's just temporary. I'm going to go ahead and build myself a second wooden chest because the entire time that you're out exploring, your pals are just fill Oh, wow. Nice alignment. Your pals are just constantly filling up these chests here, which is great. Like this is something I feel like is sorely missing in survival games is just not having to worry about doing everything by yourself, right? Hold on, dude. This looks so bad. I, I don't like how how lopsided this is, hold on. 
So I think when it comes to pals at my base, I'm going to have two nighttime pals, which once again, I'm kind of making this up. I'm not sure if this is actually a thing, um, but I'm going to have two nighttime pals and three daytime pals. Just in case it is a thing, I want to be prepared, right? First time using fast travel, no loading screen, you're good to go. There was a wrong place to fast travel to. I think this is where I want to go. Oh, look at that. So anytime you see a section like this in an RPG, that means there's stronger things over there, all right? <laughs> That's just basic RPG knowledge, you know what I'm saying? You're welcome if you didn't know. I got winner, death from above. Nice, FG, real nice. Hey man, that's not me, that's, that's the game. <laughs> Throw my cat at you. Oh wow, you guys hit so hard. I need to get out of this water. Let me see if my cat will kind of pull him out a little bit. Drag him out of the water, drag him out of the water. Oh my God, he brought a friend that's sparkly. Okay, Malpaca, get Pokeballed. Capture rate is really, really low on that one. Sw switching to my Mega Ball. No! <laughs> my Mega Ball! <laughs> switching to my normal ball? Come on, dude. Let me have my little Malpaca. Okay, confirmed. <laughs> The cheat code, baby. Come on, you guys would do it too. Come on. <laughs> I ran out of stamina doing this. And we're back. Just a little bit more, a little bit more, a little bit more. All right, there we go. That should be, he was almost dead. That should be an easy capture, right? Nice. This guy's only level two, but I haven't captured him before, so I'm absolutely going to do so. Uh, let me bring my chicken out. Throw my chicken at you. Whee! Attack! Or f flap around. Dude, this thing is so fast. So right now I'm just trying to discover and capture as many pals as I possibly can. So if it's unique and different and haven't seen it before, oh! I do like the fact that a lot of these uh, these pals actually have very unique attack patterns. <laughs> you know what? S screw my chicken. I gotta do this on my own, dude. Oh, look at this egg. I'll take that egg. Build an egg incubator. Dude, I want to do that. I saw that earlier. Have no idea what this is, but I'm going to go ahead and pick it up. Collect and offer them to the Statue of Power to improve the ability of your captured pals. Easy capture there. Okay, so you don't actually kill pals. You see this? They're not dead. They're just like knocked out a little bit. That's fine. Can I still Pokeball you from right here? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's rematch time, baby. Maybe, possibly. Let me go ahead and get my cat out. Go get him. <laughs> nice job, cat. Nice. J Ooh. Dude, you gotta watch out for those. I don't even have any Pokeballs right now, dude. Again, I'm in the same situation as I was before. No Pokeballs. Uh, at least we killed him this time. Oh, wow. And my cat's just dragging its corpse around. Let this be a lesson. <laughs> oh my God. So my armor and my weapon is damaged. So let's go ahead and head on back to our base, do some repairs, maybe craft some more stuff, um, tend to my garden, you know, do all the normal survival things. Um, let me look at my, my little garden here. Need some more watering, so let me go ahead and water these bad boys. Okay, he does work during the day. I was wrong about the daydream working at night. Whatever. <laughs> so somehow Socrates the owl over here got injured while I was gone. Um, so even though they're just in the bases kind of doing their things, they can always be attacked. So I'm going to pull him out for right now. Put him in there, start healing. Put him in my little penguin here. So I have a nice diverse mix of, uh, of pals in my base. Um, I want to use this Malpaca for some reason. I'll go ahead and grab you. Grab my fox. Okay, got a nice diverse mix of my pals and my base. Let's go ahead and do some leveling up here. I want to go for maybe a little bit more HP. I, I feel like I've been taking way too much damage. All right, I got a lot of stray pal coming into my base. I'm going to go ahead and put this really morbid hanging trap right here so people know. I guess. Oh, dude, so this is what happens. They just step over this thing, and they literally get hung. 
Oh my god, dude. This is like really morbid. <laughs> but I gotta do what I gotta do to protect my flock. And for what I know is an absolute deal breaker in a lot of these survival games, if you're curious, you don't have to actually have the crafting material in your inventory. It can be in any of your chests, right? So I have no wool in my inventory whatsoever. The only wool I have is over there inside my little wooden chest, but not to worry, I can still make the cloth I need. When I happen to go to my chest, put the wool inside my inventory, go to the crafting bench, make my cloth, go back to the wooden chest, put everything back. You ain't gotta worry about that. Team effort! Look at this, dude. <laughs> <laughs> the whole gang is here working a little slow probably a slacker hey dude it's my spirit animal <laughs> So I just crafted my very first normal parachute. Um, this is a glider for soaring through the air, simply made and it isn't very fast. So let's equip our glider and I got myself to a nice high point here cause I had to do it right dude. Oh, the sun is setting too. So you can kind of get a feel for some of the far off lands there. And there's kind of like a world tree over there in the distance there as well. I don't know what that is. And uh, ooh, some different biomes. You gonna get to it FG? Yeah man, hold on, hold on. Uh, I think I just need to press space bar. Whee! And there you go. Where's my base? Right over here. Oh, look at my stamina! <laughs> okay, uh, wasn't quite prepared to fall so fast, um, but there you go. Obviously in the future, you're gonna have better parachutes that don't drain your stamina quite so fast. Dude, you're making so much noise. Come back. Okay, back to my technology tree. So I need to build a statue of power. Um, this is gonna allow me to make offerings to enhance the stats of my player and my pals. So we saw a little bit of that before. Ooh, a mounted torch. I definitely need this because my base gets really, really dark. All right, so let's go ahead and build our little statue of power. Like uh, right here, kind of sort of in the middle of my base. Most of my pals are sleeping, so I gotta do this by myself. It's gonna take a whole minute, but you know who don't sleep? My homeboy, the Daydreamer. So check this out. There's a thing called the unknown item. It's a key item, and this is going to be unlocked after a certain pal has been captured. Now, I don't know exactly which pal it's talking about, but I do have a few pal-specific items here. So check this one out. The Fox Park Harness. So this is a harness for holding a fox part basically in your hand, okay? Um, you activate your partner skill, and this allows you to hold a fox part and attack as a fox park as if it's a flamethrower. <laughs> like he's a flamethrower. Also, I have a Melpaca saddle. Um, this is going to be a saddle for safely riding, which I just captured one of these bad boys. So I'm definitely going to learn how to do that. Um, a daydream necklace. So this is that little nighttime creature that I found. Um, if a daydream is in your team, it will stand by your side and attack enemies in tandem. So as long as it's on my team, it's always going to be by my side if I understand that correctly. Now, I don't want to go too crazy and waste all my technology points on these because I need to build some other stuff, but um, very cool to know. So what I want to do, I want to go for this logging site, this crusher, because I want to start making things a little bit more effectively. A stone pit, that sounds good. All right, so let's test this out. This saddle is for safely riding a malpaca. Here's one in question, where you're going. Hello? Oh, there we go. <laughs> that was a little awkward. All right, let's see how fast this thing really is. Has considerably more stamina than I do. Has an air cannon attack. Let's go ahead and... <laughs> Dude, now I'm playing a first-person shooter. <laughs> first-person shooter mode. And can I just... Okay, you can... Oh, no. Wow, there's a dash attack as well. So I thought maybe I could uh, use my spear. But she just kind of runs forward. Okay. So what happens if I decide to switch my pal and throw it at you? Does that work? No, it doesn't work. So you can't use any of your pals or anything like that. You can still loot. And how about this? I want to really test something out here. Can I chop down trees while I'm on top of my mount? No, you can't. All right, so the only thing you can do really is do some basic attacks and then, of course, travel considerably faster with a lot more stamina. It's revenge time. Press F to dismount. And then I'm gonna switch my little, my friend, there we go. It's payback time, you will finally be mine. <laughs> Take three, baby. Wow, okay, that didn't hurt as bad. I can't see the HP bar, I can't see the HP bar, okay. Little bit, couple more hits, couple more hits. And then hit him with the Pokeball. That's 34, 37. 
How about another one? <laughs> Dude, this thing looks like it's gonna get angry at me eventually. Oh, wow! One more time. He has like no HP. I might just need a higher quality ball, right? Oh, <laughs> Dude! <laughs> the cheeky bugger. Okay, I came prepared for this. So let's switch out our spear. Oh, T-Pos. Um, I don't know how to load it with uh, ammo. I don't, I don't know how to load it with ammo. I'm just, I'm hoping that the ammo is already loaded. We have to, yes. <laughs> Come on down here. Out of ammo? I'm out of ammo and have 37 HP. This is not gonna work. How about this? How about I just throw a Pokeball at... <laughs> That's what you get for calling it a Pokeball, FG. You're right, you're right. So my next major milestone craftable is called a logging site. Um, this is a facility for producing wood. Cutting wood is hard work. Tell me about it. That requires much physical endurance. Dude, I've been sitting in my computer chair all day. Leave it to the pals who are skilled at logging. I thought that's what I was doing. Um, but okay. Oh, look at this. So basically, it looks like I can kind of just make my own uh, kind of bootleg forest. So let's, uh, let's do that. I'll put it way out here. And we'll build it with, uh, with hammers. <laughs> okay, so as far as I can tell when it comes to this logging site here, um, I have 9,999 wood available in this one logging site. So as long as I have pals available to work, they'll just be chopping down these trees getting wood, I, I think. So as you can see, this game world gets dark, like real dark. So I finally started adding some mounted torches in various spots around my base, of course, surrounding my statue. I got some mounted torches over here by my storage chest, some of my crafting benches, and now I'm kind of uh, putting a few of them around my house. Very easy to just walk up to them and ignite them. Hopefully they, they stay lit forever, I hope. And then I'll go ahead and help my little homies build these real quick. Oh yeah, this was much needed. Now look at my base, nice and lit up. I'm gonna put another, eh, put another one right there, that's fine. Unfortunately, this game is still an early access beta, so sometimes your pals get stuck on the environment. They're not gonna help you build things. Maybe, maybe, he's thinking about it. He's thinking about it. No, ah, ah, ah. All right, I'm gonna do a little bit of hunting of these fox parks over here, because I have to have that flamethrower weapon. Ooh, flame organs. That's all I needed. Ooh, a purple chest. Um, oh, this is just freely open. So I got a mega spear, some gold coins, and some arrows. I'll absolutely take those. Found myself some new prey to hunt down. Where y'all going? Where y'all going? Eh. <laughs> Get him, cat! <laughs> oh my god, they're so fast! I'm gonna be completely out of stamina by the time I poke you. And of course they're gonna jump me. Hold on, let's just chill. Let's just chill. Get my stamina, wow! Get my stamina back. They're so cute, man! <laughs> Gonna use a mega spear on that one. I don't think I really needed to, but I, I have just like no HP left. Okay, got him. The shrub on the pal's back produces berries as long as it's properly fed. Oh, what? If it offers berries to potential mates and its flavors to their liking, romance blossoms. I don't know how I feel about eating berries off of a random animal's back, but <laughs> we'll take it. Whoa, man, this is a war. Bring my, my little malpaca back because I need a ride to get out of here. So note to self, if you attack a dire howl, they're all jumping in. Like every single one that's in the vicinity is gonna jump in. Come on, he has like no HP left. <laughs> the best part about key items, even when you die, the key items are still on your person, right? So what I can do, some of my little malpaca, hold down F, and I have a ride back to my corpse. But even in death, I was able to grab at least one of these dire howls, so let's test them out by uh, fighting these little monkeys. Oh, 
Ooh, yeah, dire wolf, baby. Dire howl. Um, some mushrooms here. This is a new item I've never picked up, so we'll grab some of these. Oh, hey guys, you guys are hiding this? <laughs> Just jump these three monkeys. <laughs> All right, so this tree looks like no other. Um, water skill bubble blast. Use a skill fruit from your inventory to learn a pal skill. So there's bubble blast and a poison blast. Okay, so be on the lookout for these trees. Of course, I didn't bring an ax with me, but I wonder if you can chop that down and get something else for it. And uh, I'll take one of these as well. All right, so now that I got a much stronger attacking pal, it is time for some payback. Nightwing, don't think I forgot what you did to me earlier. Ooh, good range. Will he come down? I just need him on the ground so my wolf can just wreak havoc on him. I only have one. Do I have a mega? Nope, I only have one sphere. So I got to make this one throw really count. Hold on, don't kill him, don't kill him, wolf. Right there, right there, that's perfect, come on. He had like no HP, give me a flying pal, baby. No? Yes. <laughs> it carries newborn pals to its nest and raise them as a surrogate parent. Once a baby pal has fattened up, it hunts them. Oh, oh my. <laughs> that Nightwing's a bit morbid as well. Um, I do see a mega sphere on the ground, so I'm gonna go ahead and grab this bad boy. All right, so that was a pretty good haul for one day. Let me go ahead and sum up my little mount. This is cool, right? You go out, you try to, you know, capture some pals, get some resources, do some exploring, all the way up into the point where it gets a little dark, and then you head on back. Um, can I? I'm about to test something here. Can I Skyrim up here with my mount? Oh, no Skyrim action? Ah, that's fine. I'll Yoshi him a little bit. <laughs> no, come on, friend. He sounds so sad. <laughs> uh, but it doesn't actually matter. What I can do is just do this, put him back into the ball, and then throw him over here. Hold down F. Thank you, friend. And then I can just run over here to the fast travel point and then head on back to my base. So here at base level seven, I need to build a hot spring, a primitive furnace, and a berry plantation. All right, so here's the hot spring. It's gonna cost me two technology points to unlock this infrastructure. Um, wood, stone, palladium fragments, that's all pretty straightforward, but the pal fluids are gonna require me to go out and hunt pals, but that's fine. Primitive furnace, that's really easy to make. Flame organs, stones, and wood. I'll go ahead and get that for three technology points, but I don't wanna use my flame organs just yet because I really wanna get this flamethrower weapon. All right, so let's make a few of these palladium fragments. Let's go for five. Um, requires watering, huh? So how do I, how do I do some watering? So this is how you do some watering. So you can't actually do everything on your own. Certain times you need certain pals to do very specific things, right? So if I go over here to my pal deck, um, based off of, I wish I could just look at the ones that I already have unlocked. It doesn't look like I can, but if you take a look at, let's say this land ball, for example, you see right over here, this land ball has no ability to water. So if I need to water in order to get those um, palladium fragments, I need to make sure that my base has someone like this little penguin here that actually has watering. Um, who else can do watering? That's really the only person that I have that can water at the moment. So a really well-functioning base is gonna have a nice mix between certain pals that can do certain things, right? And it looks like there are currently, dude, that's gonna be crazy. It looks like there are currently 111 pals in the game. So now here comes my penguin over here, adding water to my little crusher <laughs> in order for me to make these palladium fragments. So once again, I'm gonna have to kind of re-review all of the pals that I have in my base to make sure that I have someone that can chop down trees, that can mine, that can water, um, that can uh, transport things, right? Cause not every pal can transport things. Um, there's just so many different things that these pals can do. And the bigger your base is, the more different types of pals you're gonna have to have kind of occupying your space here. Let me see what this bootleg Socrates does, because he's literally just kind of sitting around. So Socrates the owl, the only thing he can do is gather. All right, so the fact that my little owl over there is not doing anything at all is completely my fault. This is all on me for building in a place that wasn't really dense in resources, because look at these. There's like slightly outside of my base. Here are all the things that he could be gathering, but since they're you know beyond the blue line, I can't, unfortunately. So the complaint that I had earlier that your pals can help you do pretty much anything except for cook, I bet you there is some type of cooking pal out there that'll actually allow me to make things like bu bake mushrooms without actually standing here and holding down the F key. 
So I need to make a stone axe real quick, but I'm completely out of wood. I have tons of stone. So I think this is a really good opportunity for me to go through my little pal deck here and find someone that is really good at lumbering. Dude, I bet you this little monkey is good at lumbering. I bet you, bet you. Because it doesn't look like I have anyone that I've discovered yet or captured yet that's actually good at lumbering. So that's actually a pretty fun option, right? So if I want, I can go out and just do some lumbering on my own, or I can be like, you know what? I'm gonna find someone out here that can actually do all that for me. All right, so just got this little guy, intelligent as a five to a seven year old human child, oh my. Um, he makes a wonderful partner, but there have been more than a few cases where they have killed their master after learning how to use weapons. Well, I'll worry about that in the future, but we have, we have successfully found someone that is good at lumbering, medicine production, handiwork, planting, and gar uh, gathering so he is pretty good at pretty much doing everything so we're definitely going to get him in the base as fast as possible um, but i also still want to find some of these monkeys so let's see what you can do large amounts of water pour from what is thought to be its nose though some say that it is in fact just snot <laughs> Okay, uh, either way, it works as watering. So we'll go ahead and take that. Um, also, when it comes to, you know, taking him on adventures with me, um, he has a thing called Soothing Shower, which is gonna actually restore my HP. So it's also a healing little pal as well. I see a monkey. Great range. I got one arrow. I'm out of arrows, but that should be enough. Please just go in my Pokeball, my pal sphere. Come on, little monkey. Thank you. All right, so I captured exactly what I was looking for. So long ago, this pal used objects like tree branches as weapons. After coming into contact with humans, however, it found something slightly more effective, guns. <laughs> um, but he can also do lumbering as well, perfect. Ooh, I see a new pal over here. Level 20, huh? All right, I'm gonna leave you alone just for right now, but I'm making a mental note of where you live. <laughs> that sounds creepy. Okay, so let's figure out our management situation here. So um, as far as this little owl, since he only does gathering and I have plenty of other pals that can do gathering, let's go ahead and take our, our little owl out. Let's put this guy here. Hopefully <laughs> these guys don't start making guns and try to overrule me here. Um, same thing with this little chicken. We'll put this monkey in here as well. So now we just have better pals that can do more different things, right? Put another cat in there because at least they can mine, right? Ah, oh, dude, maybe I should have... Uh, Maybe I should have got like a whole gang of monkeys. <laughs> okay, so I want to cook 60 baked berries. Unfortunately, once again, I have no pals whatsoever that know how to cook. <laughs> um, so that means I just have to hold down F this entire time. Well, you can't even go AFK with something like this. So most of the map is covered in basically a fog of war, but as you get closer and closer to, you know, structures and different types of fast travel points, um, the game does kind of let you know what's around the corner without you actually going there. So, so I want to go ahead and unlock some of these fast travel points and maybe I want to go hunt down this Chillette here since he's only level 11. So I finally have enough materials for this and I have got to see this. So activate its partner skill to hold Fox part and attack using it as a flamethrower. We gotta see this. So quick check up on my pals. So I have my little daydream over here, transporting goods back and forth. I got my little kitty cats over here, mining away. I got my little, <laughs> my scary monkey that's uh, eventually gonna learn how to build guns and kill me one day, but he's over here mining. I got my penguin over here, watering my berries, harvesting them. It's a beautiful thing, dude. What a well-oiled machine. And these, uh, these little owls try to jump me in the middle of the night. Wait a minute, Syndicate Thug? Oh, hold on. Let's uh, let's do some exploration here. So there's bandit camps out here as well. This dude's strapped. Hold on. Let me uh, summon my Nightwing. I wonder. Can you uh? <laughs> I wonder if you can capture one of these guys. <laughs> that sounds so bad, but I wonder. Oh, you can, I think. Hold on, I'm about to capture a human. I'm not sure how I feel about this. <laughs> oh, he got out. No, you didn't. <laughs> Come on, Syndicate Thug. You about to join my gang, V. I just, I just threw a Syndicate Thug inside of a, a pal sphere. I'm going to get another one real quick, and I want to get this gunner. Maybe these are just gonna be like really good ways of defending my base. Cause last night I got jumped by all those owls, right? So maybe this is what I need to do. Huh? Huh? 
Nice. Uh, but for whatever reason, they're not... Fwack! <laughs> That's funny. Um, for whatever reason, um, I don't see these syndicate thugs and gunners inside my, my little PAL deck. Oh, hey, buddy. How's it going? I'm gonna go ahead and release this PAL that was captured here, buddy. Oh, he looks so sad, like, for real, for real. And he just joined my squad, just like that. That's perfect. Um, this guy is called a Fuddler. He's a ground type. He does handiwork, which means he'll help me with my crafting, mining, self-explanatory, transporting, and he's not that hungry. He only requires two foods. So I definitely captured those guys in my PAL spheres, but I, I don't see them anywhere, so maybe this will make more sense in the future. But for right now, what I wanna do, I think I wanna go kill this thing. You know, just while I'm in the neighborhood, I'm gonna go ahead and grab another one of these monkeys here. So let me go put my bird up. How many PAL balls do I have? Like, dude, I feel like... This is going to be an ongoing struggle forever. I only got two balls. <laughs> I'm sorry. Two spheres. That's pretty close, right? He's almost dead. He still got out my ball? Come on, dude. Thank you. I, I feel like once it's green, it's pretty much a done deal. But yeah, I think those monkeys are just really useful to have, right? You know who completely forgot that I had a parachute? Me. All right, here's my target, Dancer of the Plains, level 11, 1100 HP. Uh, <laughs> you know what, let's just go for it. Let's do it! Eh. Oh yeah, I did some good dumage. Let me just get out of the way, bob and weave. Try to let my bird do, ooh yes! Nightwing the goat! Get him, Nightwing! Oh yeah, I got your back, I got your back. I come from behind, come from behind. I should have brought my healing, uh, my healing elephant. Ooh, nice job. Oh, he froze him, he froze him. Oh, hold on, dude, relax. Come on, Dire Hal, I need someone to grab aggro. Man, I should have brought that, uh, that elephant. Hold on. He only has 200 HP left. 54. Throwing a Pokeball! <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Alright, so it looks like you have to kill bosses to get ancient technology points. And the very first thing that you can unlock with ancient technology is an egg incubator. And I do have lots of eggs, but it also takes some ancient civilization component, which basically just looks like a spark plug. <laughs> but since I don't know where those spark plugs drop, maybe I'll take this small feed bag. Um, this is going to unlock a food slot in my inventory. Players and pals will automatically consume food when hungry. That seems pretty cool. Um, a grappling gun. Ooh. So this is kind of like future tech here, right? You can also get a bigger bag, some lan a hip lantern. Dude, this is what I was talking about a little bit earlier because I don't like carrying a torch around. Uh, I don't know where those spark plugs drop in. I, I don't know how how far away those items are in my, in my journey. So I'm going to go for this small feed bag, I guess. And once again, the beauty of having all my pals here constantly gathering items is that I always have some wood, some ore, something that I can use to build some things before I go back out to, you know, my little corpse retrieval. Thanks, little sheep. And your small feed bag is a key item, so this is going to stay on your corpse no matter what. Ooh, is that a cave? I wonder if you can actually go inside this little place. Let's do a little exploration. I mean, it looks like... The fact that it's so dark, it looks like you're not gonna be able to go in it. Oh, it's a dungeon. Um, level 13 boss. Ooh, and it has a 60, so Hillside Cavern, level 13 boss, um, 60 minutes until it expires. Okay, so you have to be on the lookout for these little locations in the world as well. 100% guarantee there's gonna be different types of pals that only spawn inside dungeons. Also, I learned that I can do uh, drive-by attacks <laughs> just by riding my mount, just by running through people. There's some more syndicate thugs out here and they're trying to jump this merchant. Looks like they're doing a good job, too. I have no gear whatsoever, but I do have... Hold on. Wait a minute. I do have my little fox. So let's... Can we do the... Can we do the flamethrower? <laughs> yes! <laughs> Nine tails ain't got nothing on this. Ah, oh, come on, man. I'm literally using a fox as a flamethrower. Oh, this guy got stuck in the geometry, so that's kind of worthless. 
Um, they dropped some good stuff, though. Some ammo, some pal spheres. We'll take it. Gonna go ahead and snatch this egg out of its natural incubator. Um, so in the future, I'll put it in one of my artificial incubators and see what it hatches. So I wonder if it's gonna respawn at all, or is that just like my only chance and I'll never see that guy ever again? Picked up all my goodies here, but no, he's nowhere to be found. So I missed out my, so I guess I messed up my opportunity to put him inside of a pal sphere. All right, more playing around with my flamethrower. Huggy fire, let's go. Oh, that guy left. He's like, I don't want any part of this. <laughs> I need some uh, pal fluid, so I need to do some farming real quick. Dude, they ran so fast. It's just me and this cute fox, y'all. What you doing? It's just me and a cute fox. <laughs> and such good range on this flamethrower as well. Look at that. Just when you thought you were going to escape, hit you with the flamethrower, some damage over time, cancel it, turn him into a normal pet, and finish you off with a baseball bat to the face. <laughs> I'm sorry, dude. I'm, I'm really sorry. I need to get this thing, but I'm not ready to attack it just yet. And as you can see, since I'm using my fox, who is fire, his attacks are highly effective against this, like, grass type. So I'm back to this tree from earlier. Let me see if I can chop this thing down. Is anything happening? I'm losing stamina. Forgot to put some food in my small feed bag, so we'll go ahead and put that. And now, automatically, I'll feed myself and my party pals. Perfect. Okay, it's been a long time coming, y'all. I need to be able to capture one of you. <laughs> Y'all have evaded me since I started this journey. Yes, just burn you down, burn you down. Pokeball, don't don't die with damage over time while you're inside of it. That should be an easy one. Come on. Nice, finally got one of these things. Oh, wow, this thing has lumbering level two. That's kind of interesting. Didn't expect this thing to be able to lumber at all. Um, can be ridden and can perform a double jump when mounted. Increases the efficiency of cutting trees. Nice. Oh, dude, look at what I just found out. Look at what I just found out. You guys ready? He's a light source as well. He's a light source. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so very early on, if you need to, you know, go out and travel at night, grab one of these foxes. And of course, I find some spark plugs. Good morning. That is too cute. Everyone wakes up in the morning and gets right to work. Syndicate scouting party. I'm about to be raided? Hold on, I'm not ready. <laughs> Dude, I'm just over here just chilling. Okay, so this is where all the defense things come in. You see them right now? I can see them. See the danger? The raiding party, they're basically here. I just wanted to finish building that for some reason. All right, let's do this then. Let's uh, bring out my dire wolf. Y'all want to raid my base? <laughs> they don't even care about me. They're just running. Oh, y'all trying to destroy my buildings. Syndicate thugs, bruh. Easiest raid ever. All right, so now I just unlock this harness for my dire howl. Yee hee hee! Oh, so much faster than my Malpaca there as well. All right, so I've already made the adjustment to my party. I put my Malpacas in my box um, because they don't really help with combat all that great. They're really just for riding, right? The Dire Howl is really good in combat, and now that I can ride them, that's perfect. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and bring an elephant with me just so I can have someone that can heal me with Soothing Shower. That's something I've been really lacking. Of course, Flamethrower, duh. Nightwing to have someone that's just, you know, uh, doing damage while in the air is slightly safer. And you, I actually don't know why you're here, but. <laughs> oh, come on, dude. That was so bad. <laughs> dude, I can't help but jump in anytime I see these syndicate thugs anywhere out in the world. Like, I have to, like, jump in. Okay, so we see some bootleg Pumbas over here. Um, they look like they travel in packs as well. So let's go ahead and call on the power of Huggy Fire. I just feel like y'all are weak against fire. Like, y'all have to be, right? <laughs> Ooh, hey, buddy. <laughs> There's just something just so, like, so relaxing to see new and exotic creatures attack and capture them. <laughs> the human way. 
Okay, so Spark it. During the dry season, this pal is always on the verge of blowing a fuse. Sparks can fly even with the slightest provocation. Well, I'm glad I, I shot him pretty quick. While in a team increases attack power of electric pals. Okay, um, this guy has a new ability that I haven't seen. It's called generating electricity. We'll have to see how that helps out our base in the future, but I'm sure there's probably gonna be something that requires literal electricity and uh, that guy Spark is gonna come in handy there. Take one of you boars too. Dude, the Nightwing and the Dire Howl are just really, really good companions. Like, look at that. Really good range. Like, he's just soloing this guy. Now, when it comes to combat in this game, your your main character is, is not the highlight. In, in fact, she's the low light. <laughs> it's really all about um, your pals, right? That's really where all of your combat fun is going to come from, is utilizing these. What is this? Utilizing your pals. You're only level four, though. Let me put you away, because I feel like you're going to kill this thing. Oh, it's so cute. Hey. Oh, look how mad she is. <laughs> no, no, easy. Coming with me. Coming with me. If you bully Vixie, you best be prepared to become enemies with the whole world. Um, sometimes she digs up items from the ground when assigned to the ranch. Got it. Um, so the ranch is where farming, I guess, is going to come in handy, um, which I haven't built one just yet. I am so far from home right now, um, but I feel like I should maybe... While I'm way out here, try to get one of these uh, fast travel points, maybe? Yeah, that was definitely the right move. So welcome to the desolate church. There's a little journal entry right there. Fast travel point unlocked. What else is in? Oh, this is my first time seeing one of these statues outside of the one that I built for my base. I got some chest here. Enhanced player stats. Oh, so it's, it still functions exactly the same, though. So here, if I want, I can enhance my pals as well. So let's say my Nightwing, who I am really enamored with at the moment, I can increase its attack by using one of these small pouches. And it looks like there's different rarities here. So maybe, and I'm hoping this is the case, that low-level units use this, mid-tier units use this, and then rare units use this. This way you're not saving every single small pouch because you don't want to waste it on like a low-tier creature. That's, that's how I hope that works. But again, I just made it all up. Dude, this place is like a rock haven. Dude, this place right over here, fast travel point right next to it, tons of trees, tons of rocks. This is a much better starting area. Um, but as far as I can tell, you will be able to get multiple bases. Um, so eventually I'll have like a base that's a little bit deeper into the world. I'm thinking right here is probably a decent spot, but we'll find out later. Oh yeah, I captured some of these rush ores too, which is basically just a boar. An extremely aggressive pal. It often picks fights before gauging its opponent's strength. Though small, its powerful charge can send even boulders a flying. Um, so this one can also be ridden and it increases your efficiency of destroying boulders while mounted. So you can probably charge right into a rock and break it that way. Um, it can also mine while it's uh, at your house, which also makes sense as well. So it can charge headfirst into like a rock or something like that, right? Break it all up and then someone else can come by and transport it. Dude, this dude is hungry. Three food? This is all, well, I guess I already have people that are hungry in the base. <laughs> all right, so I built myself another red berry patch right over here. And you can already see, dude, these th this little combo right over here are so useful. So now they're going to be planting for me. Then, of course, I have other people that do the watering and the gathering. Very nice setup right there. So I was going through all the pals that I've collected thus far. I love the fact that they have these randomized skills, right? So this guy right over here, work speed plus 50%. So why on earth am I using this one? So let's uh, move this guy out, put this way more effective sheep in its place. Uh, let's see what else we have here. Um, this little chicken right over here has a thing called Diet Lover, which basically just decreases its hunger. That's not too special. Um, mine Foreman, ooh, increases the effectiveness of my mining, right? So even though he can't mine, he's basically a foreman that can make my mining even better, bruh. I gotta find a way to like sneak you in my lineup somehow, or I'll just wait until my base is a little bigger and I'll definitely put you in there. Um, what, what, hooligan? Dude, what you doing? Work speed minus 10%, so this guy, I got like the worst monkey ever, but I'm not using him at the moment. Um, logging foreman, so the same thing as a mining foreman, just makes you more efficient. Um, I guess what I can do here, since I'm already running a penguin, and this guy's like a mega slacker. Now I'm finally paying attention. Now, now that I got a lot more comfortable with the game, I can see some of these uh, pals are not very good. So this guy, negative 30% work speed. This guy is an ultimate slacker. So we'll get him out. We'll replace him with a good penguin that not only does not have the slacking trait, um, also a logging foreman. So that'll make me a little bit more efficient that way. Um, here's another foreman there. Who else? What else do you guys have? Mine foreman, runner. 
Um, ooh, movement speed is 20% faster with that. So even your mounts can have different stats as well. Very cool. So while all my pals are sleeping, I'm gonna go ahead and do something really nice by building them a hot spring. And I'll go ahead and put it together myself. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so that was really productive. So I built my hot spring for my pal so they can have a place to relax. Um, I built a primitive furnace so I can make things like charcoal. I already had one berry plantation, so I built a second one. Um, so that's gonna be enough to get me up to base level eight. Now I need to make a high quality workbench. This is where we're gonna get much higher quality tools that hopefully don't break as fast. A medieval medicine workbench, which I hope is gonna allow me to make some health potions because dude, <laughs> my elephant ain't enough to keep me alive. And I can also deploy yet another pal in my base um i definitely want to do one of these foremans right so i'm gonna go ahead and do this mine foreman this spark kit over here welcome to the squad make sure <laughs> look at this guy <laughs> he's so serious he's like i'm going right to bed <laughs> that guy was so serious um i haven't built this sign or anything like that i've kind of avoided that poison bow this tavern furniture set, these sandbags. As far as like the raids that happened earlier, the syndicate thugs are not really that that stressful at the moment. Um, I have not built any of these new outfits. This outfit right over here is good for fending off heat. This outfit is good for fending off freezing temperatures. Neither one of these I really need right now. I rather just get something that's like a general use armor. So I've skipped both of those. Uh, we definitely want to go for this high quality workbench. Um, ooh, I can turn you into a submachine gun? <laughs> By activating this partner skill, the Lymph Monk will ride your head and fire at enemies with a submachine gun. Um, here's the saddle if I want to ride this guy. Here's the assault rifle for my little monkey homie. Ooh, pelt armor. This thing's pretty good. So I'll, I'll go ahead and take that. Meat cleaver, a knife for butchering summon pals. When equipped, the pet command becomes butcher and butcher pals will not return. Oh, wow. So I guess if you're getting rid of like low level pals, you, you butcher them and take their meat. Okay. Um, then of course we definitely need to get this medieval workbench. I already know how to make nails. So that'll be good there. And I am out of points. Can I get inside this? Oh, it's just for pals. Literally just for pals. Okay. Um, so what I want to do, I want to get some stuff queued up, right? So let's just queue up all the things that we can. I, I can also craft an old bow, which sounds really, really bad, but it's a rare, and these are common bows that I'm using at the moment. So maybe I will go ahead and make this, but it does take two spark plugs, which I'm not really sure how I feel about using at the moment, so I'm gonna save those. Um, requires kindling. So since that furnace requires kindling, I'm gonna go ahead and switch out. Uh, actually, I'm just gonna put you in here, and then we'll take our fox and just leave him in the base. Look at him, going right to work. So so check out what you can do here, right? So I can just say, you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and fast travel on down to this church where I know there are a ton of rocks. Go right behind the church where there are a ton of rocks. Do some mining, fast travel right back to my base. This is actually perfect. So I'm not really sure about this, but I am gonna go ahead and craft a helmet, the feathered hairband. And of course this penguin is helping me like, yeah, man, you're gonna look just like me. <laughs> a little bit of feathers on your head. All right, let's see what this looks like. And here is the feathered hairband. And you know what? That's not bad. I, I thought I was gonna have to look for a, a hide helmet option, but you know what? I can rock that. And one thing that I really like about the AI of the pals of this game thus far, because you can see right here, I clearly need kindling over there, right? So I need to get my fox. As soon as you drop them into the game world, look at this. He literally just makes a beeline for exactly what he needs to do. Like that, that's, I mean, I, I guess I'm impressed by the most basic things. All right, now what is going on over here? I'm over here being impressed by my little fox's AI and I have, <laughs> hold on, let me, can I close the door on you guys so you're not just stuck in here? You can always pick your pals up too. Don't, don't, don't worry about the, the logistics of this. <laughs> you can clearly pick this guy up. I'm gonna, oh, and of course I'm on fire. Bruh, my shield's helping a little bit, but uh, jumping in the water yet again. This has happened multiple times in this playthrough, and there you go. You ever seen a deer knock down trees? <laughs> so here is a lumbering plus two, a lumbering level two, I should say. And look at how proud he's strutting away from his handiwork. Dude, there you go. So another really neat thing I found out about the AI of these pals is that if you have a fire pal in your base at night, they're gonna go around your base and light all of your torches for you. Bruh. All right, so I finally put together my medieval workbench. Um, as far as what you can make with this, so low grade medical supplies. Um, this is great for colds and sprains, but it does not heal HP when eaten, okay. Um, medical supplies, good for ulcers and fractures, 
Once again, does not heal health. What am I? What did I make this for? Um, high grade medical supplies that are effective at treating weaken and depression. <laughs> okay. Also, it doesn't heal health. Suspicious juice. Dude, got some sussy juice. Um, this improves your mood. Of course it does. Drinking it greatly increases your work speed for a period of time, but lowers your sanity. <laughs> Of course, sussy juice does that. And then lastly, we got some strange juice that looks like that purple stuff. Um, juice that greatly improves your mood once again. Drinking this increases your work speed for a period of time and also lowers your sanity. So you got two levels of sussy juice here, none of which are actually gonna help me heal in combat. So I guess I still have to bring this guy to combat with me uh, because he's the only pal that I found thus far that has a skill that heals your HP. All right, so I just crafted myself a high quality workbench and as far as I can tell, the high quality workbench completely replaces the lower end one because you can still make some of these basic things like wooden clubs, but you can also make some of these upgraded things like pelt armor. So what I think I'm gonna go ahead and do is just go ahead and get rid of it. Oh no, pal spheres. Ah, oh, come on. That, that feels like a goofy oversight because like the only thing that you can't make on the high quality workbench is the pal spears, but I guess what's gonna happen is that eventually I'm not gonna be crafting those low end pal spears anymore, and I'm only gonna be using mega spears, maybe. But in the meantime, since my armor is damaged, it's time for a little, uh, well, <laughs> really damaged. Um, it's time for, ooh, a nice upgrade. Dude, I like the tribal theme here. You see my little pal spear on my side there? I got shotgun shells in my arm. Got a new backpack. I got some uh, nine tails <laughs> strapped to my waist. Very cool. All right, now it is time to do something else here. Let's go challenge the boss at Rain's Syndicate Tower. All right, I'm down for a dungeon. But before I head out, base upgrade level nine. So I'll do this when I come back, but I'm gonna need to build a cooler box, whatever that's for, and a sphere workbench. Oh, okay. So there's a specialized workbench just for spheres. That's gonna be interesting. Also, great thing about this base level, not only will I have 10 pals working in my base, I'll actually have two bases. I wonder if that means, will I have 20 pals, like 10 in each base? Or is it 10 pals all total for both? Whatever, we'll figure that out later. Okay, so here is the tower in question, Reigns Syndicate Tower Entrance. We'll go ahead and fast travel our way over there. I spent some time making an additional bat and I've made a bunch of arrows as well. So hopefully this dungeon is not too long because I don't have a ton of resources. I got a bat that's basically almost broken, but I got a, got my replacement and I have 62 arrows along with 10 or 12 uh, pal spheres total. Um, 10 basic ones and two mega ones. So once again, hopefully that's gonna be plenty to get through this entire tower. But here we are, rain syndicate tower, time limit 10 minutes. All right, uh, oh, it's just a boss battle. Dude, I get a little intro cinematic and everything? Okay. Oh, dude, I'm fighting rival gym leaders. <laughs> oh, dude, I love the fit. Oh, I'm ready. I am so ready for this. Okay, my very first dungeon experience here in Power World. <laughs> I use that guy for a thumbnail. Oh, can you ride him too? Zoe and Grisbolt. Okay. Oh, dude, it's just, they say dungeon, but it's like literally just a boss encounter. All right, let me try to get some, come on, get some aggro Wolfie. I should have brought more arrows. I should have brought fire arrows, especially. Let's go ahead and charge up here. I'm doing no Dumage. Hold on, dude. I'm about to baseball bat this guy to the back. <laughs> Where's your baseball bat, FG? Hold on, hold on. What do I, I need to do something more. Like this is like, I got 10 minutes to beat this guy. Okay, let's switch pets.
Wow, that hurt. All right, I'm doing no damage to this guy. It is time for some huggy fire, baby. Come on, come, Foxy, come over here, dude. Foxy, I need you. He's not listening. <laughs> Thank you, dude. Flamethrower. Dead. <laughs> okay. Th that, oh, okay. Dropped all my items and equipment. Are they, is all my equipment inside the boss room? That's not going to be good. All right, so now that we know what we're up against, let's try to do this a little bit more intelligente, shall we? Um, so I'm going to bring a bunch of ground-type pals with me this time around. Hopefully that'll help me do a little bit more damage. Also, while doing this, I just learned that there are multi-element pals as well. Um, so this guy is a water ice-type, basically. Um, he's a grass ground-type. So I'm just going to try to bring just uh, ground pals here, but I don't really have that great of a collection of them. <laughs> And, and not to worry, when you die, they literally just throw all your stuff outside. <laughs> like, get this garbage out of here, bruh. So what was tripping me up in that battle? I was trying to scroll through like my baseball bat and my ranged weapon. Um, but unfortunately, you have to like go through with everything that you have in your hand. And I don't see a way to just to put that on a hotkey. Um, it's not like you can just press like one, two, three, because those command your pals. Two commands your spears. Three, four... Uh, yeah, so there's no real quick hotkey. I might be overlooking something, but in the meantime, what I'm going to do is just not bring any of my little... Well, I guess you can use that as a weapon, but I'm going to make sure that the only thing I have equipped next time is just weapons. But considering how much HP that boss had, I feel like I'm probably better off just doing a little farming, collecting some new, you know, pals, see if I can find myself some new ground pals, get some levels, try to build out some more technology, and then try that fight again, because, dude, that thing... Because, I don't know, man, that boss had, like, nearly 30k HP, and the boss that I just fought previously that only had 1,100... <laughs> make note of that. 30k versus 1,100. I still died on that 1,100 HP boss, so I'm probably gonna need to do a little bit more work out here. All right, it's time for a training montage. We got this level 15 grass dragon type you know we're probably fine let's see let's see how hard this guy can possibly hurt us Ooh. Flamethrower, I need you. Let's go. You're a grass type too, dude. This is gonna really hurt. Okay, very good. A little bit more, a little bit more. All right, I think it's time for a Pokeball. Dude, I almost died again. Please don't get out. Please don't get out. <laughs> nice. Ah, oh, dude, that was way easier than I thought it was gonna be. So grass dragon type, a pal once angered cannot be pacified. It rages on like an inferno. The phrase step on a Dino Sum's tail has come to mean enraging someone. Nice to know. Um, this can also be ridden and it enhances grass attacks while mounted. Uh, planting level two and lumbering level two. This dude is mad hungry. Give me a soothing shower, my friend. <laughs> It's actually a decent heal. I mean, that's 200 HP. It's not the worst, um, but we got to get him leveled up. So it's actually a little bit more reliable. And of course, finding these out in the world is definitely going to help as well. Passively building up my power for my pals. There's another one up there as well. I feel like I'm playing like Genshin or something. This is a bad idea. Totally bad idea. Hold on. If you just swim normally, you don't drain stamina quite as fast oh no no i think we're good we got plenty of hp we're n we might not even get the drown damage all right we're good so i assume this is going to be a thing every single time you see a syndicate camp you definitely want to go in here because there's always well i say always so far two times out of two um there's been a captured pal inside hey buddy welcome to the squad do i feel bad that i'm about to attack these guys while they're sleeping absolutely not <laughs> i need some new pals oh man look how cute he was while in a team can be summoned and used instead of a glider. Allows you to move quickly for long periods of time while gliding with this pal. Dude, what? So here's what you need to turn this guy into an actual glider. Um, very basic stuff to grab. Some cloth, which I have. I mean, I'll be on the lookout for some pal fluids. Dude, Nightwing is such a strong pal to have. Look at this. My, my little Nightwing is only level 12. 
and he's basically soloing this level 16 Wooly Pop. Oh, let me, let me get a couple licks in. Let me get a couple licks in. Man, this guy just wasting all of my little balls. Oh, I threw a Giga Sphere at him on accident. <sighs> well, I'm sure there's going to be plenty more of those in the future. Beautiful. So that's pretty much the name of the game. When you're behind on levels, just go out and find different pals, capture them, fight them. Everything you do is going to help you level up. And speaking of collecting new pals, this Wally Pop, um, its entire body is 18,000 times sweeter than sugar. <laughs> Carnivious pals lured by its scent will find themselves overwhelmed by sweetness and even pass out should they take a bite of this pal. What a weird defense mechanism. Um, sometimes drops cotton candy when it's signed to the ranch, which I actually built one. We got some aerial combat going. My Nightwing versus a bunch of these worms. You want to help out, FG? Yeah, I'm on it. I'm on it. <laughs> Wee! So my little adventure wasn't completely in vain. I did build up eight technology points with my levels. Um, so let's get this mission done um, by building out this cooler box. This is a small food vault. Assign an ice pal to prevent food stored inside from spoiling. Oh, that's cool. All right, so we'll go ahead and build that. And for the sake of the YouTube, I'm gonna go ahead and build out these celery gloves just so I can see what it's like to glide on one of these things. Also, a crossbow, I think, is going to be needed. And let's go for a metal spear as well. Okay, you guys got to check this pal out. It's called a Toko Toko. Watch what it does when it's about to die. I trade in any kind of pal, whether it's stolen pals or even prohibited types. Take a look. Okay. So you have a, a black market in the game here as well. Oh, so this is what gold is used for. I've been collecting gold. I had no idea what I was going to ever use it for. So he has some low-level pals here that are, that'll probably be semi-difficult or uncommon to find on their own. This guy costs 10 k I only have $2,300, so I can't buy any of these at the moment. But when it comes to selling pals, check this out, dude. Super easy, right? Just uh, right-click to mark them. I don't need all of these, these sheep and these chickens, and these chickens. These are all like really low tier. Um, these malpacas I don't really need either. I'm gonna get rid of all of these like really low tier ones, I think. Um, and then also, I finally found the syndicate thugs that I captured that one day. Um, so I'm gonna go, dude, they actually, they actually uh, fetch quite the, <laughs> quite the amount of money. Oh, he's 300, he's 600. Dude, some of these are actually pretty good. All right, so I just sold a bunch of those. Now, if I want, I can actually buy these Lee's Punks. So I guess since I don't have one, I'll go ahead and buy this one. He's actually better than this guy, I think. I mean, he has two skills unlocked. Uh, whatever, let's go for it. Definitely got to collect them all, right? So a pal that always takes great care to maintain a stylish stance. I love them already. Always on the hunt for the coolest poses. Even given a mirror, it will spend all day posing in front of it. Okay, he handiworks, he transports, and he gathers. When activated, utilizes a sixth sense to detect nearby dragons. Oh. I mean, honestly, dragons are pretty easy to find. Like, here's one, like, literally right here. He's level 19? But you know what? I want the smoke, baby. Hold on. You already know what I'm about to do. Grass type dragon. Come up behind him. Come up behind him. You ain't ready. You ain't ready. <laughs> oh, look at the. Before he could even turn around, look at how much Dumage he's taken. Yes, dude. Fire type flamethrower. Let's go. Dude, he's running. Oh, no. He was baiting and switching. He was baiting and switching. Uh, let's switch to my my dire howl. Got a baseball bat him a little bit. I wish I could. I wish it always kept the boss's HP in your face, right? Because there's certain times I can't really see how low the boss is. Bugging him a little bit by just like staying on top of him. That is the way to go. Dude, where are you going? Get in this pokeball. Huh? Huh? If it goes green, you basically, done, done and done. Dude, I can find my own dragons. <laughs> Actually, he's not a dragon at all. He's a dinosaur, grass type dinosaur. Um, its scent drastically changes before and after pairing. It exudes a pleasing aroma after finding a partner, which is called the fragrance of first love. So basically, you know, when he when he's not a virgin anymore, he, he smells different. Um, can also be ridden, over affectionate, of course. Uh, while he's in the team, he helps you carry supplies, increasing the max. Why am I clapping? Increases the, the max player's carrying capacity. Do and he's a planning level three but this dude is mad hungry don't worry buddy i'm here to bust you out 
Wow. Okay. So this is the third syndicate camp that I found. Every single one of them so far has had a trapped pal inside. So these guys right over here are like self-destructing dodo birds. Toko Toko, a frightening pal that produces exploding eggs. It often fires these eggs from its rear end as a form of defense. Uh, when it's spent, this pal itself explodes. I saw that. When activated, it equips to the player and transforms into an egg launcher, which is basically a grenade launcher. Dude, we have got to give that. Oh, wow. Look at this area. We got these weird cows. We got these big dinosaur dudes over there. <laughs> <laughs> hey man, let me get them nips. Let me get them nips. <laughs> Hold on, man. Let me get those nips. <laughs> I can't even hit him. He's bugged. Okay, so we have an entire gang of Relaxosauruses, um, which don't sound like they're going to be like the best worker I've ever had. Um, dude, there's just so many of them. This guy's level 17. The only one that's kind of like separated from the pack is level 17. This guy's level 18. Dude, they just travel in deep packs. And they aggro? Why do they aggro? You guys are supposed to be relaxed and chill. You guys are supposed to be relaxed and chill. Oh my God, I look so full. Wow. Step bro, what you doing? <laughs> no. So one of the best early moments in a survival game is when you finally upgrade your basic pickaxe to an upgraded one. So we're finally making this metal pickaxe and my homie's coming down to help. I'm finally reading the flavor text on this pal. Dude, check this out. Milk pours from this pal like water from an open faucet, regardless of his gender. <laughs> Oh no! It's truly a mystery of life, although this mystery may be better left unsolved. <laughs> All right, so I brought my brawn cherry with me because it helps me increase my max carrying capacity uh, because I have some much needed farming to do. So I got my brand new pickaxe. I'm gonna spend some time off camera just mining away because I need so much more ore. Ooh, some new fire type pals. Oh, do they look like cute? Oh no, they got bow ties. Oops. <laughs> oh no, I'm sorry little guy. <laughs> what is happening? <laughs> the ragdoll. <laughs> Like, what? They threw him in the ocean. Another little nighttime pal as well. Dude, this is so much fun. Oh, this guy is legit. He doesn't have like the worst appetite for food is okay, but he's gathering level two, mining level two, and transporting level two. I'm gonna put him to work immediately. And with that capture, I'm now level 14. Um, so I instantly took the spear workbench because I need this to upgrade my base to the next level. I guess I'll go ahead and take these mega spears as well. I kind of want a, a wall torch, but I'm gonna stick to things that just make me stronger right now. Okay, I lied, I'm going for the metal axe. So a little one dimensional, the only thing this thing does is kindling, but I do actually need another fire pal, so I'll take him. Oh dude, it's been many moons since I seen a sparkling pal. Like since the very first day I started playing this game was the last time I saw a sparkling pal. I had no idea they would be so rare. Unfortunately, it's just a chicken. Um, but let's, uh, or I think they're called alpha pals. So uh, let's go for it, buddy. It's in the water, which really sucks. Cause this, oh, it really actually sucks a lot. <laughs> I can't even swing on him. Dang it, dude. Can I, can I lure him back to the shore? Maybe. Lured him back to the shore. I think I'm going to get him in just a basic little pal sphere as well. Nice. So I finally tracked down a wandering merchant. Let's see what type of goodies this guy has. Um, oh, long-eared witch hat, farming hat. Can I see what these look like before I buy them? They're, I mean, 500 a piece. They're not super expensive, but I can't just like buy them willy-nilly, unfortunately. Um, and then other than that, it looks like he just sells things that I could pretty much easily get on my own. None of these things or uh, anything too special. But these right here, I do, dude, I wish I could, dude, I wish I could see exactly what they look like before you get them. Hopefully that's something they add in the future. Just a little preview option. Um, on the other side, there is a pal merchant. And so he's probably gonna be like the black market one that I found a little bit earlier. Ooh, Univolt. Can I ride you? <laughs> uh, man, they're super expensive though. Level 23, but she only has 1800 HP, right? So I found this little dungeon boss. I'm not super confident, <laughs> but dude, she's a waifu. All 
All right, so I just built my little cooler box over here. So this is actually pretty neat. So you just put in all your food and all you need to have is just like a cooling pal, um, which I do have my little penguin. Periodically, he'll just walk by my little cooler, cool it off to ensure that the food that I have in here lasts as long as possible. And I finally made my little spear workbench. So now I can make my basic pal spears as well as my mega spear. So now I can finally get rid of this workbench right over here. I'll take those nails. And just those two little simple builds, the cooler box and the spear workbench, that's gonna get us up to base level 10. So now I need to build a cooking pot, a wheat plantation, and a mill. But it looks like that's gonna take me quite a bit of time because I just hit level 14, the wheat plantation and the mill are both 15, and the cooking pot is level 17. Dude, a Nightwing saddle? I could Flying mounts? New goal, new goal, absolutely new goal, my friend. I'm gonna be on a flying mount. Or maybe it's just gonna be a glider. Well, we gotta find out either way. So I think it's time for me to build my second base and I wanna build it right here. There's tons of rocks and trees here. So let's see. Yeah, we're in baby. Second base is ready to be online. Let's check, yes, okay. I was really kind of worried about this. So the reason why I'm so excited about this is now that I have two bases, so I have 10 pals working in my other base. I have this new base with empty pal slots. So once I get this completely filled up, I'll have 20 pals all simultaneously across both bases, gathering, crafting, and making resources for me. Dude, this is perfect. So let's go ahead and get this set up with a basic crew, right? So I think first and foremost, let's just go for a basic cat for right now um, because I gotta make sure these guys are fed and they have beds so i don't want to just like load it up at the moment um but we'll definitely get there dude you don't see these rocks right here oh he seems hungry and he has no bed see so you can't just like completely load up on a new base without getting your basics right um and unfortunately dang it dude hold on all right, so this is gonna be the real test on how much quality of life this game actually has, right? Um, so I don't have any of my resources because they're all at my other base. Let's go ahead and set down a wooden chest and I'm hoping that this magically makes all of the things that I have in my other base available here. <laughs> Ah, unfortunately, that's not how it works. Dude, I was hoping that all of my chests across the world all were connected, but that's not how it works. They're basically tied by the base that they're connected to. Okay. One day in the future, I'll build my pals an actual house that they can have their beds in, but for right now, y'all be all right, just sleeping outside. And if you remember earlier in the video, this was that sparkly alpha chicken that I picked up. Um, so he's rare, so his work speed and attack are both 15%, and he's a motivational leader, which gives me an increase to my player speed. I'm not really gonna use any of those because you're gonna just be in the base doing stuff. So I think I got the secondary base at least decently self-sufficient. So I have my logging site, I have my stone pit, have a nice little berry plantation right over there. Um, we have this higher level tier two stone here. Um, the only person that can actually mine that is my boy right over here. I don't know what he's up to. He's resting. That's cool. Um, I probably need more people to do transporting because you can see there's a ton of resources just laying on the ground here. So I might need to add uh, more transporting pals here. We got this big chicken over here just being a motivational leader, just chilling. Um, plenty of storage at the moment, plenty of beds. I got food here, fully stocked. So we're, we're basically good to go. Like this base isn't supposed to be like a replacement of my first base. I just want this base to be constantly getting resources. And this dude, this would be so perfect if all of your storage was just universal. Like this is a perfect opportunity for this game to kind of set itself apart um, because it's just something kind of, I don't know, redundant, tedious, whatever you want to use. Um, having to be like, all right, which base has this? Which base has that? You know what I mean? I, I think it would just be a really good opportunity for this game to do something a little bit different by having all of your chests just universally available. So that way, if I'm like, you know what? I wanna build this primitive furnace here, but I don't have any flame organs. Which base did I have my flame organs in? Just let's just make it all universal, dude. I think that would be a really good idea. I don't want any part of this fight. I don't want any part of this fight. Dude, these things heat sink. <laughs> what kind of bubbles? Got a pretty prominent landmarker right here. It looks like they're like two horse style or centaur style pals with lances. Um, dual lance. No, th those, those are shield. No, this guy has two lances. This guy has a lance and a shield. Interesting. And of course, this led to another exotic location where I can fight some pa- Oh, <laughs> oh, let me try that one. oh my god! <laughs> there, there you go. Not that I died or anything like that, but I did want to show off my little, uh, pal glider here. Definitely lasts longer than the other glider that I have, like the default one that you build. And I'm gonna land on the roof. Wee! <laughs> That's too cool. Oh, look at my boy over here with the cape. Hold on, wait a minute. 
I'm gonna go ahead and hit this fast travel point just in case. <laughs> but I think I'm ready, all right? Hold on. I'm hunting a Robin Quill. He has a skull next to his name, which is not good. <laughs> Off to a great start. Headshot. That was actually some pretty... Dude, he looks like Marvin the Martian. Oh, wow. He one-shot my pet. Ooh, look at the arrow. I'm actually not too scared of him, I don't think. He's pretty predictable, I was about to say. Oh, wow. I don't know if headshots do more damage, but it's in my game of nature. Just bob and weave out of this. He has, like, a bunch of, like, landmines here. I like that. <laughs> a lot of diversity. I need to reload when I'm watching his animations. You can actually hide behind trees, too, by the way. Dude, this guy does not care about me. Okay, get out of his little landmines. That will probably one-shot me, but I'm not going to let it hit me ever. Let's reload, reload. Good job, buddy. The only thing wrong with the crossbow is it's just like... It shoots like a sniper rifle without the power of a sniper rifle. It's getting dark, my friend. Ouch, that hurt, but it only took down my shield. Dang it, I keep forgetting to reload. Good battle music, too. All right, dude. I think it's time for you to become a pal. Wow, that capture rate. <laughs> not not great. I could have been uh, reloading my arrows while I was watching the capture fail. Oh, my God, dude. Quit bouncing around. <laughs> dude, it starts so low. How about now? 14%. Ugh. Dude, these are my Mega Balls, too. Oh, we got him! Hey, 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 Robin Quill! Robin Quill looking very, very cool. He's a grass type. Literally almost does everything. Planting, handiwork, lumbering, medicine production, transporting, gathering. Only three food, so he's really easy to feed. And while fighting together, allows you to deal more damage to weak points. Very nice. So I hit level 15, and I have 10 technology points ready to go. Um, I'm really tempted about this fire arrow crossbow, but the only problem is, is that the fire arrow crossbow requires fire arrows. <laughs> Riveting, FG. No, no, no. Hear me out. Um, and the fire arrows require flame organs. Um, so I'd have to be like farming flame style pals just to be able to get my crossbows. You know what I mean? Uh, maybe in the future. We'll see. Wheat plantation use this to grow bread. Uh, maybe I will just to do that. Um, but I definitely need to make a mill um, because this mill will allow us to level up our base. Um, and it looks like the mill is going to need wheat plantation anyway, so I'll go ahead and grab it. The next option is a monitoring stand, so you can command your pals to work on various things inside the base. Try not to overwork them. What is, I, I'm not sure what that's supposed to do. Like, I already, I, I'm totally fine with them just using their AI to do things. That's fine. Um, container for observing captured pals. Dude, I'm not trying to have, <laughs> okay. Um, that's just going to make me just as bad as a syndicate. And then, of course, this Nightwing saddle, which I, I'm pretty sure is just a glider. But just in case I can actually fly, I want to test it out. All in together now to build our little wheat plantation. And I do have some wheat seed that I just literally looted. So I'll go ahead and help out my little homies when it comes to planting the seeds of wheat as well. Now, now I don't have to do this, but I don't know, man. It's just, it's just fun helping. Dude, he left. <laughs> this guy left. And I should have two penguins doing something. There's my two penguins. Double watering. <laughs> this just feels wrong, but whatever. <laughs> I wonder how hard this guy can be. King Paka. 2300 HP, level 23. I mean, he doesn't look too intimidating, right? Let's see. Give him a little poke. Dude, only six Dumage? Oh, that's not good. <laughs> but maybe he's not super offensive, you know what I mean? Let's see. Oh, dude, are the other Malpacas trying to jump me? Yes, they are. Hold on, I just got this... Uh, I got this frag grenade that I want to use. Let's see how that works. Oh, that's basically just like uh, my homeboy's ability. Oh, dude, Robin Quinn is so good when it comes to enemies that kind of stand still like that. 
And luckily for me, none of his abilities are, are heat seeking. Dude, I'm so aggro. But look, yeah, look, I love the fact that they run through that minefield like that. That makes him way easier to manage. Yes, Robin Quill. Get ready, get ready. Wow, I ate that for no reason. I'm so dumb though, by the way. <laughs> Cause I don't have I don't have a good uh spear to throw him in. I got these low level ones. He's never gonna go in that thing. Ah, dang it, dude. What a waste. I'm still gonna kill him. New ancient technology point unlocked. I am absolutely going for this egg incubator. I should have got this the first time. I've looted so many eggs that I could have been incubating right about now. Oh, and that also got me level 16. Dude, this is great. Mega shield. So I, oh wow, that takes four additional spark plugs. Uh, I still need to get that though because the shield I have right now is basically worthless. As soon as I get hit by one thing, it's gone. Um, a new heat resistant armor here, a better chest. Yes, very, very cool. I'm gonna go ahead and grab another bigger chest for myself. So let me craft some Mega Spheres here. The only problem with this is that so many things take ingots, man. Uh, I'm gonna have to like really just go out and farm and just get a bunch of ore here shortly. Dude, I know absolutely nothing about the meta of this game, but I feel like Robin Quill is just like really OP versus bosses. Um, so I just burned a bunch of my little souls here to boost up his attack. So let's hope that pays off. So this is kind of interesting. So the pal Depresso, right? When you activate him, he drinks a massive amount of energy drinks causing his movement speed to increase. <laughs> Dude, that's why he's so depressed. I'm feeling myself now. After I beat that overpowered Malpaca, I feel like I'm... T I feel like it's time to do some boss runs, baby. Easy, I just need to get him out of that deep water. Come on, dude, don't leash. And now it's time, get him Robin Quill. Get some aggro, please. Dude, Robin Quill is the cheat code! Whoop! I took some damage there, unfortunately. Oh, dang it, dude! I wanted to throw a pal at him, ball! Come on! <laughs> Fine. Ooh, I got a precious dragon stone. I never got one of those before. And we're just dragging his corpse around. Yeah! Embarrass me multiple times in a single video. Let it be known, no boss kills FG three or four times. Maybe once, maybe twice, but three or four? Uh-uh. Robin Quill, baby. Oh, and speaking of revenge, I see you up there, Van Worm. Don't think I for Come on, range. There we go. This one I'm not gonna look get away because he's a fire dark ow. A fire ow. A fire dark type. Which I could absolutely use. Dude, he is like. Oh, my Robin Quill is distracted, so it's just me 1v1 in this thing. Oh, I just leveled up. Oh, come on. It's not like one of those RPGs where you get your HP back. Wow, Robin Quill. Now you start fighting, and you basically one-shot him. All right. I think maybe, do I want to do more HP? Stamina, attack, defense, once again, that's just weight. Leave that alone. Work speed. I don't really care too much about that. I mean, that would be nice, though. Uh, let's go for some more HP. Another opportunity to grab a Van Worm. I'm on my way. Just having, you know, pals that can do fire is just, uh, I mean, they're, they're plentiful, but I just don't have any. <laughs> oh, come on, dude. Van Worm can be ridden as a flying mount. So yes, there are flying mounts in this game. Increases damage player deals to enemy weak points while mounted. Very, very cool. All right, looks like, uh, looks like we're gonna have some visitors here shortly, but I did just make myself my egg incubator finally um so this is going to give us a nice i hope i assume um this is going to give us a nice trickle of just random pals that i throw in here right oh boy here comes the raiding party dude i'm ready come on robin let's do this oh my god the slowdown <laughs>
Like, I don't even know how these raids are ever going to be successful when they have to, like, go against my entire PAL army. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and set a wooden chest, like, right next to my, my little egg incubator. And I'm going to try to get a little bit more organized by putting all my eggs, like, in this box and not just randomly all over the place. So here are all my eggs. I don't know why I felt like I had way more than this, but common eggs, scorching eggs, so like fire. Um, this is uncommon and it's large. You have a dark egg. Let's go for this large uncommon one here. Seems a little cold. Does that mean I need to heat this up in some way? Or does that just give me like a clue on what this is going to hatch as? Like it's gonna be like some type of ice Pokemon. I don't know. <laughs> Speaking of which, look at this, a heater warms the nearby area and protects against the cold. Uh, all right, I guess I'll learn that. I have 12 technology points. I'm absolutely going to go for the cooking pot because that's going to allow us to level up our base. Um, not too worried about some of these PAL tools because I don't bring them with me. Uh, let's see what else we got here. I'm not sure how I can say no to a literal grappling gun, so I'm going to go ahead and grab that. Cooking pot's done, wheat plantation's done, and the mill is all complete. Base upgrade, and the next, ooh, a weapon workbench. I am intrigued. I I'm not sure if this is exactly what I need to be doing, but I am gonna go ahead and put this heater here next to my little egg and see if that changes the whole, like, seems just a little cold thing. Okay, so that changed absolutely nothing. So I think this whole little seems just a little cold thing has to do with what type of pal it's going to be. Um, I'm pretty sure it's gonna be some type of ice type. Back to my Revenge World Tour, by the way. Let's go, Robin Ken. I'm gonna play this like a World of Warcraft a little bit. Do some pillar humping. Oh yeah, that does so much damage to her. Just keep her in the mines, keep her in the mines. Or I don't know if she levitates and she gets out of it. I'm not 100% sure. Up, uh, up, uh, arena, arena, pillar hump, pillar hump, pillar hump. Hey. <laughs> oh, dude, the pillar humping is the, this is the pro move. In the entire time, my boy Robin is just licking shots. Up, up, up. Robin got a little bit of aggro. That's actually fine. Oh, that's actually not fine. Let me get aggro back here. Just stay right there in those little landmines. Dude, she is timing her... Dude, she is timing her levitation, like, perfectly. Oh, I was too close. Can I hit you with a ball now? Can I actually have a boss for once? Oh, my homeboy's dead. Oh, I got her! Hey! <laughs> Finally, I got a boss! Her partner skill is very specific. While fighting together, neutral pals that you defeat drop more items when you kill them. Nah, that's pretty specific, but maybe I'll need that in the future. Uh, handiwork level two, medicine production level two, transporting level two. All right, so this guy is not the revenge tour. He's actually never killed me before, um, but let's see. He looks like a cool samurai with that hat. I'm gonna try the same strategy that's not working. I didn't bring Robin because he was still dead. Oh, dude, he looks awesome. So my Robin is dead and he's, oh, he has a teleport! <laughs> okay, now you've just earned your spot on the revenge tour, baby. Got me flying back to my base butt naked, bruh. Speaking of transportation, check out my Serpent. Um, can be ridden to travel on water while mounted, prevents stamina depletion while moving over water. That makes sense. Um, poachers often catch them and use them in place of surfboards. <laughs> Surfboard. Early morning raid to start my day. Dude, thanks for all the free goodies, man. This is like materials delivered to your door. <laughs> All right, so it has absolutely nothing to do with the heating source. It's all about having a pal that can do kindling. So, dude, fire elemental pals, I feel like, just have a lot of different uses here, important uses in the base. Very first egg incubation is complete. Let's see what's inside. Hold to incubate. Ah, dude, I already got one of these. <laughs> So up until this point, I've been completely focused on just learning the game, exploring, finding pals, but now I want to concentrate on combat. So let's try to switch up our strategy, shall we? So I got this monkey. Um, this is Pokemon with guns, right? So 
I gave my little monkey a submachine gun. Dude, he's just firing at random things. Hold on, let me give you some aggro so you can focus on. My boy, I never should have gave these monkeys guns. <laughs> okay, so note to self. Next time I summon the monkey, make sure I'm already aggro with something. Um, but that's not the only person I decided to give guns to. All right, how about the penguin cannon? Oh, wow, look at this thing. <laughs> Pokemon with guns. <laughs> so yeah, testing out all these new pets, I totally died. But check this out. Oh, wait, I'm being aggroed. Lady, I don't have my corpse yet. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, you want to go down, huh? No one kills me twice. Oh, dude, don't aggro me while I'm just trying to get my loot. This is too much right now. Okay. Huggy fire. Let's go. I am so down for whatever this thing is. So, yeah, they really need to work on. I know this is a beta, early access, all the good stuff. They really need to work on making sure that I can always see these big bosses and their HP. When it comes down to, like, you know, little, little enemies, it's not that big of a deal. Shoot him! Shoot him, monkey! Dude, my monkey's already dead. Get on my head! Okay. <laughs> this is so ridiculous. It really is ridiculous. This guy has the smallest clip ever, though, by the way. <laughs> I think I'm fighting two? I can't tell, dude. It's so dark. One more shot? No, how about two more shots? I really don't want to... Oh, oh, I'm just going to start going for it. I'm going to start balling him up. I don't think he's going to go in there. Ooh, no. Easy, easy, guys. I'm going to unsummon my pets. I don't want to lose this guy. One more shot? I'm so scared, dude. Okay, that's good. That's good. I think that's good. He's such low HP. I'm, I'm using mega spheres and everything. No, I, I can't. I'm not sure if I can risk another shot on him. Come on, dude. I'm just, I'll waste all my balls. <laughs> all my balls for you. You can have all my balls. All right, I'll shoot him one more time. Oh, that is like, it doesn't get lower H penis than that. You can't have a smaller amount of H penis than that. Oh my God, that was so lucky. I'm about to die for my transgressions. <laughs> Who are you, dude? <laughs> I still got him. This is what I love about games like this because your adventure is just so organic. Like you never know what you're gonna run across. And I literally ran across the bringer of lightning and the depths of hell. One who dies from the inferno is sure to be sent to the underworld. Luckily I didn't die from this guy. Can also be ridden as a flying mount and applies dark damage to the player's attack while mounted. And this dude is super hungry. This is probably the most foodie eating pal that I've picked up thus far. Okay, so that was a really fun test. So this Tansy over here with this submachine gun, he's okay, but he's just a little like all over the place. Like this guy is like total spray and pray when it comes to that gun. Um, I still love my Fox Spark, right? Like being able to have a flamethrower is like super powerful, especially against grass, um, pal. So I'm gonna go ahead and keep him. Um, I did pick up the tool that allowed me to have this daydream follow me around so effectively i have two pals at once you can't do that normally normally you can only have one pal at once um, but if you have this guy's special tool you can have a pal plus him but he doesn't really do too much so i, I think i'm gonna put him back into my base he's just super useful um, because he actually does things at night so i'm gonna keep him there um depresso you're not coming with me um lift monk the guy that rides on my head and does like the shotties it, his clip is just too small i think so um it was fun to experiment with all all these guns but I think I'm gonna go back to my OG team plus this new bird that I just picked up my homie Robin Quill I'm gonna go for Bristla because she makes my Robin Quill even stronger my Fox Park for the flamethrower and then lastly for that final spot we're gonna go for Catrice the only boss pal that I have managed to pick up surprise 
Okay, now it is time to raid a brand new syndicate base with our new, oh my god, flame tornadoes! But look at what I see slightly off the beaten path. Oh, I mean, I guess this is like literally on the path, but, it, but it's slightly off the beat. Look at this. <laughs> uh, level 29? I just want to take a look inside. Like, I, I'm pretty sure I can't be a, little, a level 29 at the moment. But I just want to take a look-see. Little bit of stuttering. Maybe that's just because this is the first time I've ever loaded in here. Um, oh, this is actually not that bad, right? So it looks like there's going to be some trash mobs in this dungeon, first and foremost. I don't have any pal balls, but I think I already own one of these guys. I, I can't remember. Yeah, lots of slowdown indoors for some reason. That's actually quite curious because out in the world, you would think there'd be more slowdown and the FPS would shoot up indoors, but I'm wrong. Oh, look at this. Big gang of syndicate cow. Oh, these aren't syndicate. These are free pals. Whatever that means. <laughs> oh, this is absolutely what a boss room looks like. Bruh, bruh. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm definitely not ready for whatever awaits me. Oh, there's like... Oh, man, this is like a real dungeon. So what we saw before was just like literally one circular room with a boss in the middle. But this looks like you actually have to do a little bit of traversing. I wonder how many things are off like a... Uh, once again, I'm going to say off the beaten path. I wonder how many like chests you can find like off the beaten path. <laughs> I don't have a better word. Is this a new type of rock? I can't tell. With the... Oh, yeah, sulfur. So, yeah, that's a new type of rock there. That's just ore. That's coal. Wow, there's all kinds of different rocks in here. Okay, easily the most exotic location that I've seen thus far in this game. Like, look at this. I just want to, like, hit everything. Absolutely, just a really good-looking dungeon. And there he is, the boss in question. Level 28, huh? 2400 HP. I'm not too scared of that. Um, Grintel, the marshmallow body. Now, <laughs> this is actually the ideal body. Now, you might not like it, but this is literally what peak performance looks like. Dude, uh, and he's a neutral type, huh? So let's go for our girl, because if he dies, if I actually win, um, he's going to drop more loot if I'm using my girl over here. Dude, he is creeping on us. <laughs> Run! <laughs> Ooh, my attacks are highly... Oh, wow, he looks awesome. Come on, baby, let's do this. I might have to go for... Uh... I might have to go for Robin Quill. Do they fall down? Oh, man, it's like watching Dragon Ball Z going... <laughs> oh, it's like playing a fighting game, dude. Multiple levels. I actually kind of hope you stay down there. I really hope you stay down there. Because this is so easy now. Whoop, 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 whoop. <laughs> Just seeing his eyes creep over the cliff like that? <laughs> dude, I am not against abusing mechanics. <laughs> actually, let's do this. Let's go ahead and bring Robin Quill out because Robin has the mines, right? So if you want to stand right there, okay, stand right there and eat those mines, baby. Oh, he's going to take a long time to kill, but as long as he's distracted, I I'm, I'm just going to go ahead and do it. I I'm going to cheese the boss encounter, dude. I've come too far in this dungeon to lose to a level 28. We're cheesing. Give him a little bit of huggy fire, a little bit of huggy fire. Look at those, like the pitiful damage I'm doing. Like, this is pitiful. <laughs> but you know what? <laughs> I got all day. Oh, no. I freed him. I freed him. I messed up. I messed up. He's out. He's out. I'm going to get right in them cheeks, though. Dude, I have no... I'm so mad that I have no spears. God, man. So, note to self, right? And I, I think I've already given myself this note. Never leave your base unless you have a really good amount of spears. Because you just never know what you're going to find out here. Right in them cheeks. <laughs> right in them cheeks. Okay. I'm totally aggroed at this point. Uh, let's go for the dragon. Fire tornadoes. Oh, look at that. Very nice. Now, it's not the end of the world if you don't get him as a pal. Because the bosses, you know, occur in the world as like normal versions Two normal versions too. So it's not the end of the world. Dude, I I swear I dodged that. 
I swear I did. Oh, you got some too, huh? Okay, let's switch back to my girl. Because I feel like since she's so effective against him, highly effective at that, she'll probably do a better job of keeping aggro. Yeah. Dodging left to right is better. Dodging front to back is dumb. On this guy, at least. So if you're curious, I think I'm only level 18. So I'm basically fighting a boss encounter that's 10 levels higher than me. Now, I'm obviously cheesing it quite a bit, but for the most part, this is the encounter, right? Just, uh, you got this big, wide open space here. He telegraphs his moves pretty, pretty well. You have plenty of time to rebuild your HP and your, uh, your shield in between attacks, as long as you're not being too crazy. I'm not sure. Let's go back to the dragon. Woo! My whole team is hungry, by the way, so I need to make sure I feed them after this. Job well. Oh, dragon, I think just died. No, he's he fell down. But never, never worry. You can always summon and then unsummon them. Oh, my dragon's highly effective against you, too! <laughs> So this makes me think, how on earth am I ever going to kill the boss in the Syndicate Tower when this guy has 2,400 HP and the boss in the Syndicate Tower has like 30k? <laughs> it's going to take me like forever. And down you go. One more time for the good time. Right to the face. Man, I wish I had a spear though. That's unfortunate. Got any loot? Nothing really. Oh, I got them. Of course, you got the ancient civilization parts, which is always good. You got to be farming those spark plugs. And is there like an exit at the very end of the dungeon? That would be so awesome. So you defeat the boss. You got a golden chest, a, a pendant of diligence, and a sapphire. And then you have a high-grade technical manual. Um, use it to gain technology points. Well, I think I will. So that's going to give you some free technology points to allow you to unlock um, different types of structures. And of course, uh, I'll look at this in a little bit. And then I also got this pendant of diligence. It's an accessory that slightly raises my work speed. Very cool. It's a common one, um, but I'll take it. So with that level, I'm now able to make a breeding farm, assign a male and a female pal to produce eggs. Cake is required for breeding. Well, <laughs> <laughs> Took the words right out of my mouth. Um, cement is used for creating structures and more. Um, we also have a large toolbox unlock now. Place in your base to improve the handiwork. So that's really cool. This is where when your pals are basically helping you build stuff, right? So this is going to make them more efficient at that. Um, riding this guy. I'm not even using him at the moment. And a chair. And a nice little teleporter that allows you to leave the dungeon. Very, very nice. So my first experience with, oh, it's dark outside now. <laughs> Hold on. Um, so my first experience with, oh, another one of these little dragons too. So my first experience with a dungeon, right? Um, I was not prepared. I didn't have enough inventory space, carry space. There were so many good things inside there that I had to just walk past. That kind of sucked. Um, make sure I bring spears next time. That absolutely sucked. That would have been an easy way to get a boss because he sat at like, Almost no HP for a good amount of time. I could have easily captured him. Um, so that's unfortunate. Oh, look at these guys. Hey, come here. Come here, Fox. You see these sleeping free pal? Devout? Hey. Imagine, dude. Imagine, if you will. You sleeping, thinking about all kinds of great stuff, doing the whole cartoon snoring. <sighs> me, 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 me. <sighs> me, me, me. And the next thing you know, <laughs> a flamethrower to wake you up. <laughs> Pokemon with flamethrowers is a better is a better tag, baby. I haven't even really used guns. Oh, now you're just gonna aggro everything. Now you're just gonna aggro everything, huh? So I think it's time for us to discover a new biome. If you look at my map, I have all of this fog of war here. So you know what? Let's go. Oh, I should have got that new glider. Why didn't I craft that new glider, dude? No, and I have no stamina. Th this is death, basically. This is death. <laughs> oh my God. I forgot that I didn't have, my, and I'm gonna die in the water. This is not good, dude. Let's go back. Oh, I'm so dumb. <laughs> Look at this, an alpha pal right over there, sparkling in my face. I'm butt naked. I got no spheres, even if I wasn't butt naked. I'm getting ch chased by a bunch of devout. <laughs> Dude, this is just raw. Everything is just bad right now. Now look at how convenient this is. How did the game know to put all my stuff up here instead of down in the water? Dude, shout out to them. 
That, that's actually pretty nice. Before I died, I saw this. I'll take this egg and I'll absolutely take one of these. I feel like no matter where you are, there's something to discover. So here's another black marketeer, like literally in the most like obscure location you can think of in this little waterfall ravine. Oh man, I saw him at, I saw him at nighttime the last time. I had no idea he was so cheery. <laughs> hey buddy, uh, let me see what you have that the other guy didn't. So all these here, I might actually want this Batalia. Look at these passive skills. So mine foreman and a workaholic. So this is actually a really good base unit here. I don't have her, so it's gonna unlock another um, unit in my in my pal decks as well. I think it's like level three gardening, level two handiwork, level two gathering, level two medicine, and level one transport with only 30 food. But once again, workaholic, like this is actually a really good unit. So what I'll do, so let's go through our pal box and sell some of these things I don't need. Like for example, this van worm that has um, basically a three down arrow on slacker. I'm, I'm not gonna need that, right? So let's get rid of you. This surfing over here with a bottomless stomach, dude, I can't afford to feed this guy. Cognito, who is a pacifist, like the only thing he can do in my base is gather wood, which is not really that great. So him being a three times down pacifist, that's not any good. And also this little penguin here who is also a three times slacker. So let's sell all of you. Oh, it's another healer. So blessing of the flower spirit when activated uses medicinal flowers to restore the player's HP. So you can see the black markets here way down there in the bottom. And I'm basically having the Genshin impact my way up this hillside. And if you played that game before, you really have to kind of balance your stamina, finding little places like this, I think. Oh, come on. I just need some place where I can just rest my stamina just for, just for a second. She's just gonna fall. Okay, there you go. And just finding little places on my way all the way up here that I can rest. I think there's one right there. That looks good. I'm gonna go for it. I'm just gonna go for it. I'm just gonna go for it. I'm just gonna go for it. <laughs> the greed. Check that out. There goes that boss that I just defeated a little bit earlier. You see that? So I think maybe once you defeat a boss, they, they start spawning out in the world, but I kind of just made that up. FG, why you naked? Hey, hey, don't worry about that. All right, so hopefully these bee guards um, don't mind me robbing this tree of all of its little skill fruits. We'll take all of these. I haven't even used one of these before, um, but I do have like a bunch of them in my inventory, so I definitely need to figure that out today. I wonder how strong they are though, you know what I mean? Like, hold on. They're grass type, so let's go ahead and switch to our, our fire pal. Let, let, let's give it, oh yeah, they split up. <laughs> they look just like bees, perfect. Ah. Oh, they have detonator! They have detonator! They have detonator! <laughs> Why would a bee have a self destroy Okay, that actually makes sense. Never mind. That totally makes sense. When a bee stings you, they're basically killing themselves. Okay, never mind. Makes perfect sense, but I wasn't ready! Got these two bootleg Shadow the Hedgehogs guarding my corpse over here. Hey. Finally replacing my common shield with a mega shield. So going from 100 shield to 260, hopefully that makes a noticeable difference. Fangirls who can't contain their love is invading the base? Bro, what? Is, what? <laughs> I knew this day would come. Let me see what these, those are the fangirls. <laughs> okay, they're actually kind of cute. I wonder if I can capture one of them. So I wasn't able to capture any of these quote unquote fangirls, but here they are, the love anders, and bruh, uh, those hearts are in some curious locations. All right, so it's time for me to do a bunch of farming, but before I do that, I am ready to test out my flying mount. Oh, wow. It's just as simple as that. Oh, hold on. Let me see how fast I drain my stamina. So you press space bar and you can increase your elevation uh, but it still kind of drains, right? Let me see, uh, how do I go down? Uh, control is my descent. Is there a place where I can like do this and like not use any stamina whatsoever? Yeah, it's basically like ground mount. It's, it's not very fast. Here's sprint, like I'm holding down shift. <laughs> like not very fast at all. It's really just for jumping on the mount. That way you don't have to Genshin impact your way up cliff sides and stuff like that. But yo, flying mounts. I kind of want to fight this thing. Hold on. So in the starting zone, there's a level 38 version of this guy. 
I wonder if I can take a level 31. Oh, come on. <laughs> not even prepared. Let's, let's just see. Let's see what type of animations he has. He might not be that bad. He has some little wind tornadoes. Let's see. I'm going to just... Ooh, okay. Don't get close to him. A lot of bosses I found have... What is this? <laughs> Lisa, at least it doesn't like heat sink, right? Oh, wow. You're killing my, my pal quite easily. I'm going to go away. Let's go ahead and switch to dragon mode. Just kind of stick and move, stick and move. I feel like I can beat that level 38 one in the starting zone. Like, I'm, I'm almost certain. Oh, especially if they get bugged like that in the trees. <laughs> I bet you that would have one-shot me if I would have stood in it. But come on, dude. I'm a gamer. Okay, go for it. Uh, please add the ability to pick up pal spears that you throw like an idiot. Like, that would be great. I'm really having trouble farming a lot of these little uh, flame organs, so I'm going to go ahead and buy 11 from this wandering merchant. And while I was over here, I don't, I don't know if we talked about this before, not every single human in this world is aggro. Like, you can attack them if you want, I assume. Um, but some of them are just like, just friendly dudes. You come in here, you can buy some pals, you can buy some gear, talk to some NPCs. But most importantly, what I didn't notice the first time I was out here, look at down there, my friend. Uh, this dungeon right here, oh, it's only level 13. Let's go through here real quick and just clear it out. Um, like we saw a little bit earlier, there were some unique uh, pals that were in that last dungeon. So we might find the same situation. Oh man, same as last time, very stuttery. With Dude, really? <laughs> Very stuttery when you first log in. Um, but let's see if that kind of cleans itself up here. Yep, there are some unique pals in here. Kilimari. All right, let's put you up here because I feel like you're going to kill them because they're not very strong. And let's go for a basic pal spear here. That should be plenty to get this guy. Kilimari, what a funny name. Uh, let's, I saw another one over here. Come on down, Kilimari. Dude, come on, Kilimari! <laughs> and this is why I have no balls. <laughs> What'd you say, FG? <laughs> this is why I have no balls, dude. Because even the basic enemies take too many pal balls to capture. Dude, Kilimari's flavor text is like mad morbid. Check this out. It wraps itself around an enemy's head, sucking out their insides. But it can also be summoned and used as a glider as well. So, hey, you know, <laughs> take the good with the bad, I guess. Once again, please add a mini map. I'm already lost. <laughs> now, I've only been in two dungeons, but you can already see some of the tile sets are similar, right? Um, so in the last dungeon, we basically had a room that looked exactly like this, but we didn't have a room that had like dinosaur bones. So it's not completely like copy paste. It's not, not like a, a star filled situation, um, but you can see some similarities in the tile sets here when it comes to the dungeons. Yeah, this game absolutely needs a mini map because even in this dungeon, right, there's multiple different pathways, but while you're trying to explore the pathways, the pals are respawning, which, which is fine, right? Um, but it's really hard to know which way did you go? Where do you you still need to go especially when the enemies are constantly respawning you're like uh did i go this way before did i not um also hedgehog <laughs> i'm sorry little buddy you're so cute though let me see if i can capture you i got a mega spear i got one we got to make it count this guy is the easiest boss ever he's just <laughs> hold on let me uh unsummon you i think i can get one sh let me yeah i can do a few more shots on him Dang it, dude. Well, it doesn't matter. There's plenty of little jolt hogs all over the place. But a really easy dungeon just to run through. We got two treasure chests, two purple ones, um, some cold resist armor blueprints, and some heat resist. Very nice. So this dungeon's going to expire in eight minutes. I wonder if it respawns constantly, right? So maybe we put a little marker here. Uh, there we go. Put a little, little skull there. So maybe I'll go back there one day and just farm it out. I don't know. 
I feel like in every survival game, there's always that one material that just basically bottlenecks everything that you want to do. For me right now, it's ingots. So you can see here, I have one, two, three, four, five furnaces now that I'm going to be constantly running, trying to get as many of these ingots as possible. And the reason why it's so tedious is because the ore is just so heavy. So even if you want to like farm hardcore, eventually you're not really going to be able to because you're going to get over encumbered like I am right now. You can't sprint and you got to mosey your way on over here to the furnace. Well, I guess I could have made them closer, but whatever. <laughs> but I got all my furnaces making ingots now. I know it's not the prettiest thing in the world, but dude, this is not a real base. All right, this is, this is a place where people work. Now you see this, this is a real base. Uh, <laughs> subtle differences, right? You gotta look really hard. <laughs> look at how many ingots it takes just for me to repair my crossbow, right? And then my metal pickaxe I gotta repair. So this is why ingots, man, they just, everything needs it. I need to build this weapon workbench that requires ingots, but it also requires nails, which guess what? Require ingots. You want some more storage? Guess what? Need some ingots. All right, I absolutely have to know what's up there. Probably nothing, um, but let's go see. No, there is absolutely something up there. I think it's just a chest or it's an egg. Huh, it's a big, or is it a small egg? Is it a big egg? Is it just a common egg? Man, it's a common egg all the way up here just for an egg. Dude, you're messing up my view. <laughs> all the way up here for an egg. But here's a nice little view of the world, by the way. Oh, there's something else on this little. Dude, the draw distance is not too shab. You can absolutely, oops, no! That's not good, that's not good. Can I, can I latch on? <laughs> Dude, I thought I was gonna be s <laughs> The futile button presses. I. I guess I forgot what game I was playing because I thought I would be able to like throw out my little pokeball and then like jump on my bird at the same time. <laughs> like, I don't know what I was thinking. I thought I was gonna do something fancy. Like, I still, I'm still trying to do it. <laughs> and then do this. Yeah, yeah, it was definitely not gonna work. I thought I was gonna do something real fancy. As convenient as this bird is though, by the way, it is very slow. Um, so obviously as you level up and uncover new pals, I'm pretty certain there's gonna be some much faster flying pals out there. But as far as like flying over obstacles and stuff like this, A, having a fly mount is better than not having one. And it looks like I found another, oh, he's only level 15 too. And there is a fast travel point. So yeah, man, shout out to the flying mount allowing me to just see the world and having this decent draw distance too, that's like super important. Look at that. Uh-huh. I, I felt like I could have did that last time. No, I was out of stamina. Okay, never mind. I was out of stamina. I was like, wait a minute. Why didn't I do that last time? That's why. Ooh, there's an egg over here too. A large damp egg. The best kind. All right, time for a quick boss encounter. He's only level 15. I definitely should have found him a little bit earlier in the game's life, but uh, I think we'll be fine. Uh, let's go for my girl, Catrice. He has, he's water and he's ice, so I'm not sure how effective fire is really going to be, um, but we'll give it a shot. Y'all sizing each other up? Wait, how many balls do I have? Dude, I had no, I have no balls. I, I kind of want this guy. <laughs> FG, are you listening to yourself? <laughs> yeah, yes, I am. Um, but I kind of want him, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to go get some new spears. I'm not going to make the same mistake anymore. Get some new spears, come right back, um, because I definitely want to capture that guy. And to prove my point even further, only 48 ore weighs 384 pounds. Literally can't even move. So we finally got a unique pal out of our eggs here, an electric type called Rayhound. Um, can double jump while mounted and can be ridden. Looks pretty fast. Uh, I'm gonna try to get a harness for it to see if maybe that's true. Uh-oh, here comes some implode unit raids. All right, so these guys, their whole purpose is to basically raid my base and try to detonate on top of my buildings or whatnot. You know what? I'm not even gonna let you guys get to my base. <laughs> that is not happening. And GG to the raiding party. I'm back, this time with balls, giga balls. We're good to go. All right, let's do this. I probably should have cleared out the ads first. Um, note to self, if you do this at the proper level, maybe clear out the ads. Put my pet away, put my pet away. Giga ball to the face. These are the highest quality balls I have in my possession. Dude, I swear if these little penguins kill me while I'm trying to do this. Okay, now let's kill these ball. Let's kill these little ads. Oh my God. I'm gonna die from the ads. <laughs> no, please. 
And here is the Ping King. Surprisingly, it's unrelated to the Pingulette, the little penguins that he had as ads, whatever. Ever wanting to be the center of attention, this pal will straight its stuff to any onlookers. Um, if you bring him with you while fighting together, fire pals drop more items when defeated. I actually kind of need that. Um, he also is level two watering, level two handiwork, level two mining, level two cooling, level two transporting. But dude, look at this guy's appetite. Um, I can probably afford to feed him at this point though. Maybe when it was level appropriate for me to fight him, I wouldn't have been able to afford to feed him, but now I definitely can. Not to mention, I definitely need to be farming some fire pals for like their fire organs. Cause I do kind of want to use fire arrows, um, but I've been kind of put off because I didn't want to farm for fire organs. But that guy makes it maybe likely that I might do it maybe in the future, who knows, we'll see. All right, so let's see what else we can explore here. So you're level 28, you're level 30, you're 23, but you have like this instant teleport kill attack. I want to kind of see what's in here. So let's do some exploring that way. Yeah, flying mounts are an absolute must, man. Being able to find these things hidden behind the cliff sides. So yeah, pro tip, as soon as you possibly can, unlock this Nightwing harness, definitely do it. And I believe maybe possibly that is probably the very first riding flying mount that you can get. I mean, it's possible you can get it earlier because these are some unknown pals and I have no idea what they could be. They could be flying, but whatever, the point still stands. As soon as you can get an actual flying mount, get, oh, get one. But before I go on my boss hunting world tour, it's time to build this brand new weapon workbench. And dude, I already see some straps on the wall. What? Ah, <laughs> uh, dude, they tricked me. I don't actually have any guns unlocked yet. Uh, but it looks like there, here's where I can finally get my grappling hook. Um, I have a flying mount, but once again, for the sake of the YouTube, let's check out this grappling gun. But that's also going to ding us to base level 12. Oh, now it's time for me to build fluffy pal beds. You know what? Based on what they've been sleeping on up until this point, I, I could do that for you guys. <laughs> But it looks like it's going to take me quite a bit of time. As you can see, I'm only level 20. Um, the fluffy pal bed is level 24, so I'm not going to be upgrading my base anytime soon. But check out some of the goodies we're going to start getting. Finally, we're going to be getting some gunpowder, some ammo. I'll be able to ride my van worms instead of my bird. There's a musket, a stun baton, um, a couple of unknown pal thingies, a metal armor, finally. Metal helmet. We're going to start looking good. A water fountain. I'll take that. A bath set. <laughs> Uh, let's see what else we got here. Uh, then a makeshift handgun. So here's where we're going to start finally getting some of that gun action, baby. Mounted crossbow. There goes a the Rayhound saddle for that Rayhound that we got a little bit earlier. Dude, there's a lot of really good stuff on the way. A Giga Shield, an actual handgun instead of a makeshift handgun. Okay, okay. But first things first, let's test out this grappling gun. Ah, no sound effect. It's beta. It's beta. But uh, it's not... Oh, it has a cooldown. All right. Three, two, one. Three. It just needs a sound effect. I mean, it, it works. It does what a grappling gun's supposed to do. Um, but no sound effect yet, so it's not super satisfying. But you know what is satisfying? Revenge tour, baby. Don't think I forgot this guy one shot at me with his little teleport slice last time. Bruh, it is on. Hopefully. Uh, let's, uh, who do I want to go for here? I, I guess we're still going to go for Cat. She hasn't let me down too much here. And I'm going to hide behind this corner. I mean, the hiding didn't really help me last time because this guy literally teleported to me. Let me s chill. I thought he was about to do the teleport strike. Dude, he looks so cool. Hold on. I think he's going to do a teleport attack. I, ooh, I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. Okay. So now I know what to look for. Next time, it ain't going to be so easy, buddy boy. Oh, he's fire type too. Very cool. Oh, I'm out of I'm out of crossbow bolts. Oh no, dude! Just when I thought I was super prepared by bringing a bunch of spears, I literally ran out of arrows. This can't be happening. I'm using my mining pick. It does one damage. <laughs> it ain't enough. Grappling hook away. <laughs> okay, Robin Quill is a big mistake here. Um, mostly because Robin Quill is a grass type. Oh, wow, that hurt. But still did some, he's doing some okay damage. Still better than nothing. Cat was about to die. Oh, he can still slice you through that. You know what? It's over. I'm just going to go for it. Come on, Giga Spear, Giga Spear. Yes, green? Yes. So you don't have to get him that low, it looks like. 
Oh, dude, this is some really fun flavor text. So upon death, his body becomes a blade to be taken up by the next generation. However, if someone other than Bushi wields the blade, the soul within them torments them until they are driven mad. <laughs> I had to really get into that. Uh, kindling, handiwork, lumbering level three. Shout out to you. Transporting and gathering. And he's not too hungry. And I just noticed this. I had no idea that this was a thing. Um, until boss revival, 60 minutes. So this boss is going to revive in 60 minutes. That's what you just said, FG. I know. Um, I didn't know that was a thing. So there's been bosses that I missed out on that I was really sad that I didn't get. Uh, well, now it doesn't really matter. This guy, I already got him. I can get him anywhere. Um, King Paka. Let's go Let's go take a look at King Paka again because I, I kind of regretted not getting him the last time. Dude, screw arrows. I think it's time for a musket, baby. Simple, old-fashioned gun that takes a long time to load. I mean, I guess I pretty much assume that. Of course it takes ingots, but I have everything else it needs. So let's go ahead and learn this. Um, I have some gunpowder that I've been looting, but I guess we need to go ahead and learn how to use it or how to make it. Of course, ammo will take that. Um, Van Worm Saddle, dude, Flame Organs, that's uh, not too bad. Once again, I told you, like, when it comes to Fire Pals, you definitely need to find them, find a nice place that you can find them and just farm them, right? Because those Flame Organs are just using so many different things. Again, Van Worm seems to be stress eating? Oh my god, dude, I can't manage all of this stuff. Dude, I can't be a trainer and a therapist, you know what I'm saying? Oh, now he's developed an eating disorder due to stress. Dude, stop eating. So wait, he's starving and he's over full? Uh, I, I don't even know, I don't even know. One shot, one kill, hopefully. For once in my life, I'm fully prepared. I got ammo, I got balls, and I have the proper um, element type to go against this guy. So let's go with Bushi and uh, let's see what he has. So Brandish Blade, huh? What are you doing? Oh, <laughs> and there goes the musket, baby. Oh, wow. It's like a real musket, dude. <laughs> it's like a real musket. <laughs> I wasn't expecting this. I might go back to the crossbow. Oh my God, it's so slow. I'm using my crossbow, using my crossbow. Either way, I'm doing like pitiful amounts of damage. Uh-huh, there's more than one of you out here. Nice little quick heal. Let's switch to Robin Quill, please. I still feel like Robin Quill is one of the best against bosses, just due to all of these landmines that he throws. It's just really good damage, no matter what. Whee! Is my grappling hook to get away? But I'm not sure if that was effective. Almost about that time! Point blank range! Here's a ball to the face! Don't kill me, please! I'm throwing you right back in the ball. I can't afford to get hit right now. These are my Gigaspheres too, dude. Yes. <laughs> Bushi, I wasn't really that impressed with, to be honest. He's okay. Um, but the real MVP, once again, still is Catra. She did the most damage. Oh, hello, Grintail. Let that be a lesson, baby. <laughs> Parade your corpse around. Checking the respawn timers, and yes, if you miss out on a boss because you were dumb and you didn't bring any spears, you are not screwed over. Very cool. All right. Um, they're also neutral types, so let's go ahead and bring out Kat. Um, she's going to allow more drops to drop once they drop. <laughs> oh, no. Kat's down. Hold on. Switch. And can we get Mr. King Paka one more time? Dude, these Giga Spears... Even they struggle. He only has 195. Come on, Gigaspheres. Dude, you know how expensive these things are? Thank you. Uh, so he can obviously be ridden. King of muscles, he can be ridden. And while he's in a team, King Paka helps carry supplies, which is always great. Increasing your max carrying capacity. He's a gather level one. Um, so the only reason why you want this guy is just to ride him, right? And I'm almost there to unlock his saddle. So his saddle's gonna unlock at level 22. Once again, ingots. Wool's not too bad, but I am a little short on wool. Palladium fragments, fiber, and leather will allow you to make a saddle for King Paka. Hey, you. You stay right there, buddy. Don't move. Just wait. <laughs> he was dashing towards me. Ah. See you later, Pumbaa. And here comes another raiding party. Once again, I'm not letting you guys even come to the base. 
I will meet you on the battlefield. They literally don't care about me. Hey guys, chill. <laughs> don't go to my base, wait. I'm in the raiding party now. Let's go get that guy. <laughs> okay, they literally just beeline towards your base. Oh my God. FG led them straight to us. No, I didn't, man. They already knew, I swear. <laughs> I don't know how they will ever have a successful raid, dude. Like, my base is just loaded with some of the strongest pals this side of the Mississippi. There's just no way. Thanks for all the goodies, though. Now that I have my first gun, I realize why they die so easily. Because, dude, guns are slow and booty, at least low-level ones. All right, time to clean up past FG's messes. This is yet another one of those bosses that I defeated and didn't put into a pal sphere. Oh, dude, would you just throw them around? Wow, look at that. Okay. Well, the musket's actually pretty strong against people that are the appropriate level. Hold on. I, I, I'm, wait. Okay. Go away. Go away. Easy capture. I probably could have used a lower quality sphere on that one. All right, chill it. Welcome to the squad. He's an ice dragon, can be ridden, and applies dragon damage to players' attacks while mounted. And as far as riding, you only need level 13. And uh, he's actually an easy ride here. Leather, fiber, cloth, and palladium fragments. Not too bad, um, but I'm probably going to pass on him. So yeah, if you're like me and you miss out on uh, capturing some of those bosses the first time around, I wouldn't worry about it until you get your flying mount because it makes them, it makes it just so much easier just to pop in, kill the boss, go back to your little teleporter, and then go to the next one. Oh, this is your captain speaking. We uh, have the Ozrobe in our sights. We're going to go ahead and begin our descent. We got to make sure we get him before he gets, gets into the deep water. We're going to go for Robin Quill because he was fantastic last time around. Who he was like, <laughs> that question mark popped up. Like, who dares? Bruh, I dare. This time it's going to be a lot different. Put my pet away and let's go get, oh, that's an easy one. That would have been really funny if I was low HP and those those bubbles would have killed me. Wouldn't have been the first time. Ooh, Artisan. So this is yet another one of those pals that can be ridden and travel on water. Um, also applies water damage to your attacks while mounted. Um, I'll eventually grab one. I haven't really needed one, especially now that I can fly. Haven't really needed a water mount, but I still want to have one just for, I don't know, GP. So I'm a little bit curious, right, for, for multiple reasons. But, but the main reason why I'm kind of curious about this fight, I attempted it when I was like, I don't know, like, maybe 10, 15 levels ago. Maybe this boss just has a ton of HP, but he's not really that tanky. I'm kind of making up most of these things, but I'm just so confused on why this is the tutorial, like, boss. You know what I mean? Like, I feel like I've long completed the tutorial. So let, let's, let's double check. He has a ton of HP, but maybe 30,000 HP. But let's see if maybe he's not as tanky. No, no, he's still pretty tanky. <laughs> he's still pretty tanky. Oh, come on. D don't you see me getting aggroed? Let's see how much damage my uh, my dragon does. So I've already taken him down 2K. I got 10 minutes. I mean, it might not be too bad. All right, let's uh, go to my girl cat. She's my, my real boss killer. Ooh, well, I'm ready. I'm ready. I've seen this before. I'm just going to hide behind this. I've done raids. Okay, I think I'm right, dude. I got aggro, I got aggro, I got aggro. <laughs> oh no! Oh, it looks so awesome how he ran up on me like that though. I can't lie. Um, so I have no idea what level is the appropriate level to fight this thing. Um, but it wasn't the level that I first tried it. Oh wow, hold on dude, relax. It wasn't the level that I first tried it. And now I feel like I'm overpowered because this guy poses no threat. Before I got like destroyed, destroyed. All right, so what we're gonna do, one more shot. And guess what, can I steal your... 0% capture rate, so you can't, you can't steal, you can't steal a Pokemon from a gym trainer. <laughs> All right, well, I just got to finish you off, baby. Boss eliminated. Very nice. Ah, uh, I didn't mean to kill you, though. Hey, waifu. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, hold on. Wait. Oh, <laughs> what were you trying to do there, FG? Nothing, nothing, nothing. And I unlocked a fast travel point, so tons of ancient technology points and technology points, and I finally got that uh, unsightly tutorial thing off of my screen. Very cool. So that got me level 22. As far as like basic technology, I am gonna go ahead and unlock the King Paka saddle. I don't really care too much about the bear trap or even the stun baton. Well, maybe I do. Um, close range weapon that sends out an electrical jolt upon contact. Pals are easier to capture when electrocuted. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and take the stun baton. Um, electric organs, I actually know where I can farm quite a bit of those. So I'm not too intimidated by that. Um, this hip lantern. 
I really, really want this. I'm going to go ahead and grab this hip lantern. There's just so many places that are just super dark. Um, uh, I guess I will go ahead and take an average feed bag. That'll give me two slots of automatically feeding myself and my pals. Um, so that's pretty cool. I'm kind of annoyed that I got this grappling gun and there's already this mega grappling gun like right here. Um, but I am going to instead go for the PAL Essence Condenser. Combine several PALs of the same type to create a higher version. That actually sounds pretty cool. But of course, story of my life, I am low on ignits once again. So in addition to always being low on ingots, I'm also always low on leather as well. But luckily for me, these little uh, plant-like panda bears <laughs> are a pretty good place to farm for some leather over here. Look at this guy. <laughs> I need to capture one of them, actually. So let me get you. Let me get you. Huh? Huh? Oh, man, y'all are wasting my Giga Spears. And yes, Giga Spears take ingots. They take two ingots per. So like, this is like literally just throwing my money away. All right, I got at least one. <laughs> Look at this guy. I think he like enjoys this. <laughs> All right, I found another dungeon, level 29. I'm gonna kind of uh, avoid these really high level dungeons for a little while, um, but I am definitely gonna mark them. So I finally found my favorite type of biome when it comes to these survival games, the snowy region. Now I am not sure if like my map is gonna be like yours, how randomized this game world is, um, but here's where the snow region is. And check this out, dude. As soon as you start getting close, you start freezing to death. So I'm gonna have to build this cold resistant pelt armor. This is the first time I've ever had to like be forced to buy like, you know, biome appropriate gear. So I find myself in the middle of like a literal gold mine of coal, like right here, right? So I'm trying to do the responsible thing and say, you know what, let me put a marker here. That way I know if I ever need coal, I can come back here. But guess what you can't do? You can do a custom marker. You can do a cute little mining pick icon, but you can't, actually like add notes <laughs> so i want to be like this is coal you know what i mean but you can't do that what a what a goofy oversight revenge tour baby oh bootleg sonic the hedgehog face <laughs> hey you want to see what i did to your boy hey <laughs> this gonna be you <laughs> Ooh, absolute gold mine of fire elemental type pals dude okay so i think i'm gonna just go just, oh wow <laughs> <laughs> Take two. Uh, I think I'm gonna spend a little bit of time here trying to get as many of these fire organs that I've been complaining about this entire time. Get a bunch of fire organs. How many do you drop? One a piece, but they die in one shot though. What else is down here? Like this is the first time I've ever seen lava. So obviously this is a, a clear place to always get fire elemental uh, pals here. So that's pretty cool. It's not too far away from most of my things, but I definitely need to find a fast travel point. Yeah, this is like just nothing but non-stop fire, pals. So yeah, dude, it's time to do some uh, some fire organ farming. Um, but before I really get too comfortable over here, what I need to, oh, you guys drop leather too? <laughs> oh man, I'm in heaven. Uh, before I get too comfortable over here, farming all these farm organs, I'm gonna bring the Penguin King that we captured a little, oh, I'm already over encumbered. I'm gonna bring the Penguin King over here because if you remember, if you bring the Ping King with you while fighting together, fire pals drop more items when defeated. So these guys, they die super easy, so it's no big deal fighting alongside him. And uh, this is gonna make my farming just so much easier. And I love the fact it's so easy to find. Like, dude, lava, fire, fire pals. E oh no, what's wrong, cat? Cat, no, hold on, come back in here. But before I leave this little area, I gotta find some type of fast travel point that's nearby. Haven't uncovered one just yet. Oh, you look mighty familiar, Pokemon. I mean, pal. <laughs> um, level 45, 4400 HP. I'll get you later. This really is just a really beautiful game. Like, look at the draw distance, man. So awesome seeing those biomes. Now, one thing if you're wondering, you can't die from fall damage with a flying mount. You're good to go. <laughs> oh, no, bees. So this may or may not be my fastest fast travel point to this little lava area. Though. Now, there might be something up here, um, but this is not too bad. So let's get set up for Fire Pal Farming Fiesta. <laughs> All right, so the most important person is the Ping King because he's going to make it so that Fire Pals drop more. And I'm also going to bring King Paka because he's going to make sure that I can carry as much as possible. Um, we're not really going to need too much offense. I don't plan on getting into too many fights. And as big as this guy is, you'd expect your, uh, your carrying capacity to go way up. Um, so not only can you ride King Paka, he also increases your weight capacity. Um, so I went from 550 to 650. You know what? I I'll take it. You know what? Maybe 650 carrying capacity ain't enough. I actually want more. Now, I'm not sure why I never tried to test this out, but can I stack carrying capacity? So if I have multiple kill packas in my party, 
Can I actually just continually stack my maximum weight capacity? We're about to find out. And what we also need to test out is this stun baton. Dude, where are you going? <laughs> Dude, come over here. Okay, he's stunned. Throw a ball at him. Let's see how effective the stun baton to the Gigasphere is. Because last time it took me like 99 balls to get him. Hey, that one only took me one ball. Nice. And the answer, do multiple passive effects stack? Yes! So now I'm 750, which also begs the question. Does it have G? Yes, it begs the question. So the optimal party for my Fire Pal Farming Fiesta is three King Pakas for carrying capacity and, and one Ping King because I need to have at least one Nightwing to fly over there. It's just more convenient. And if you ever wondered how big a King Paka is as far as a mount goes, here's your boy. <laughs> he has a little power bomb. And uh, here's the slam. Is he going to do it? Here it is. This is that big, massive body slam. And he has a third ability, power shot. Whoop. Ah, uh, Pink King has not respawned just yet, bruh. You know what? I am sick and tired of this guy just running through my base like he owns the joint. What you going to do about it, FG? Oh, you about to see what we're going to do about it. <laughs> Hold on. I got a Giga Spear. I'm hoping that all my pals just jump in. Come on, guys. We can't allow this guy to... Hold on. He's trying to run away? Come on, all my pals jump in. Will all my base pals jump in? Oh, you cow! Oh, no, he's not a coward. Oh, wow. Maybe this is a bad idea. <laughs> Maybe this... No, they do jump him. They jump him! <laughs> You've come to the wrong place, sucker! Stun baton, stun baton, stun baton. Got him! Maybe? Stun baton plus gigasphere. Pretty high-level mob, though. Still nice! Dude, let that be a lesson. If you value your sanity and your balls, <laughs> you, you need to get a stun baton. And with that, I just hit level 23. That's going to unlock metal armor and the metal helmet. Dude, I'm about to be sexy. So finally, I'm fully ready for Fire Pal Farming Fiesta, all right? So I got my party, two King Packers, Pink King, Nightwing to travel there, and this cat, just in case I run into some problems. Um, I also picked up the new key item, a hip lantern. So look at this. It doesn't take up an inventory spot and I can finally finally go out at nighttime without having to worry about carrying a torch in my hand or having to make sure I have a fire pal as my uh, source of light look at that perfect and more importantly it's time for a cute upgrade so metal armor and metal helmet so here's the old fit and here is the new fit yes Metal armor, looking good. Got a little breastplate. I still got my shotgun shells on my shoulder. There goes my hip lantern, looking amazing. Pal spear there. Got a little knife that, just, just for decoration. My stun baton, my crossbow, and my grappling hook. Dude, I'm looking good. I love the way she runs with guns. Like, this is probably the best type of running animation with gun you can possibly have in a video game. Very nice. Okay, so there it is. Ping King, when fighting together, fire pals drop more items when defeated. Oh. Hello, you are not a fire pal. <laughs> All right, time to test this. Robbie, you're going down, buddy. I need to see how many fire organs you drop. Oh, hold on. <laughs> uh, let's see. One leather, three flame organs. So I think normally it's like two. Oh, wow, look at this thing. Um, all right. Oh, nice. He looks really, really cool, actually. Yeah, this is a problem. <laughs> That's a problem. <laughs> uh, so, uh, yeah, uh, Fire Pal Farming Fiesta has been cut short. It's been canceled this year. <laughs> dude, it's really hard to navigate this area. Oh, my God. I was so excited to farm, dude. I, was, <laughs> I even gave it a name. Oh, my God. It's so hard to farm out here. So I found this wandering band of bees over here. One's called Elizabeth, and here comes the bee, bee guard. Hold on. Okay. I don't have my normal uh, attack squad here, so maybe Nightwing can uh, carry for me. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha! I've seen that trick before, buddy. I'm getting a lizard bee! Dude, I got so hyped for that. Hold on. No, I stunned her and I batoned her. Oh, no, I'm, I'm not going to be able to do it. Come on, I want Elizabeth. I'm not going to get her off of that. I'm out of balls. I'm out. I, I guess I'll go ahead and kill her then. <laughs> if I can't have you, nobody will. 
Wow, that was so close. What'd you drop? Some honey? <laughs> Instacart. So yeah, farming Fire Pal Fiesta was an absolute failure, but I did just make myself a new saddle. So check this out. Brand new flying mount. I can't really tell if he's much faster than my Nightwing. I do feel like he has more stamina though. Um, one thing I want to do, I'm very, very curious of, this is the place where you start, right? Like this is the starting area, but look at how much like landmass is like basically behind the starting area. I'm a little curious. So as long as you're just hovering, you can fly over water indefinitely, but I feel like I need to be doing this in style, you know what I mean? So I've said this multiple times, but I'm gonna go ahead and say it again. Check out the draw distance when it comes to these little green upgrade guys, right? Like you can literally see them from miles away, so there's no excuse. So if you find yourself struggling trying to capture some of these pals like I clearly have been, um, don't forget to just level yourself up here and level up your capture power via your statue of power here. So while we're here, I'll tell you about a few new pals that I picked up. Check this guy out. He can be ridden first off, and he can rapidly fire a grenade launcher. This is what I need, because so far, every single person that's had a gun in this game, whether it's me or my pals, it, it, it don't rapid fire. It, it is very slow fire. It's the opposite of rapid fire. This is also really funny. A pal so powerful, it's hard to believe. In one experiment, check this out, this pal tore through 3,000 sheets of paper at once. <laughs> <laughs> it's a, it's only by some miracle this pal is not a meat eater. Well, it could have fooled me. So this is a partner skill that's quite unique and I've never seen it on another pal before. So it can be ridden, pretty straightforward, but it also keeps the rider warm in cold environments. So you can ride this guy in that little uh, frozen biome that I showed off earlier and I guess this will keep you from freezing to death. Not bad. And this little young lady gives me hope for the future because I was talking about earlier that it was so annoying trying to farm for these flame organs to do things like fire arrows. Since fire arrows are something that just exhausts really quickly, you're like in this deficit of flame organs all the time. But you can assign this little girl to the ranch and she's going to produce flame organs randomly. Just like the Wally Pop over here randomly produces cotton candy. So basically you can have like a ranch of these girls just running around producing flame organs, which is something I'm going to do right now. Swap you out with my little, my little flame L, whatever flame bell and she's gonna go right to the ranch over here and start producing flame organs I'm, I'm a little confused i'm not sure where she gets all these organs from like infinitely <laughs> but hey there you go there's your ranch young lady once again the ai is quite intelligent she knew exactly where she needed to go now, just because you can do something doesn't really mean you should. So I'm pretty sure just through just natural attrition, I can beat this level 38 field boss. Um, it's gonna take forever though. <laughs> Don't recommend it. Now, let me explain myself. This is not a live service game. It's not an MMO. So there's absolutely nothing wrong with abusing, you know, bugged mobs like this. All right, ain't my fault he got stuck and he stopped fighting back. <laughs> So not that I was doing much damage before, but when your weapon is actually broken, you can still shoot with it, but it only does one damage. So you know what? I'm just gonna save my crossbow bolts and I'm gonna go get myself a sandwich. All right, Robin Quill, you got this? <laughs> and this is how you'll remember FG, a real gamer. <laughs> All up in that cheek meat, boy. So yeah, that was absolutely not worth the time or the effort, but hey. <laughs> I had to prove it to myself. And it's finally time for my pals to not basically be sleeping on the ground with this a fluffy pal bed. Um, it's gonna allow my pals to sleep more soundly, improving the amount of HP and their sanity that they recover while they sleep. Um, really easy to build, cloth, wood, fiber, but nails. Nails also require ignits, but I think I'm okay this time. Now I'm not sure who's gonna get the fluffy bed. I guess it's uh, just first come, first serve. All right, so this looks like an issue. <laughs> you, you guys having trouble there? Hold on, let me see if I can fix this. I don't wanna pick up all this loot though. Throw some of y'all out of the way. That way this can just get sorted out. And with that, welcome to base level 13. Um, now I need to, ooh, a spear line factory and a power generator, okay. It looks like we're getting very, very close to some actual automation here. Not just AI, but like actual automation. So there goes the power generator. That's gonna require level 26. And here is the spear line factory. Creates pal spears at a faster pace. Ooh, yeah. Finally back to the mission at hand. Now I have no idea if there's gonna be anything out here in this abyss, but you know what? We're gonna go ahead and find out. So let's switch to our little aquatic pet here and away we go. All right, is it faster? Is it slower? Dude, it feels a little slower. <laughs> Dude, I should've just flew all that work 
and it feels so much slower. So water mounts at first glance feel like they're a little bit slower than just taking like a flying mount and just hovering across the water. Um, but right now, check this out. This is normal speed. You see this? And this is sprint speed. Would you notice something? There's no sprint bar. So that's the only pro I can see when it comes to taking a water mount is that you don't have to worry about a stamina bar at all. We ain't found shit. All right, so I learned a few things on my cruise here. So number one, I got really, really bored and didn't really get that far. But as you can see, I found absolutely nothing. Um, number two, this game desperately needs an auto run button. So the entire time, dude, you have to be pressing the W and the shift, just sitting here, <laughs> bored out of your mind, trying to see if you can discover something. And once again, Nothing to discover as far as I can tell from at least this little area right over here. And then last but not least, my water mount has no regard of my life whatsoever. <laughs> like, how is this a water mount, dude? I'm drowning! But I gotta say, I do love walking around with her, dude. There's just something about having these big, massive pals follow you around. <laughs> Never gets boring. So I finally capture one of these hyper-aggressive pals. So once again, don't let the name fool you. Relaxosaurus? Nah, bro. Uh, dragon water. And check this out. Not only can they be ridden, they can also rapidly fire a missile launcher while mounted. I'm loving the fact that I'm finally seeing that word rapidly multiple times. Oh, look at this guy. Dude, we are finally starting to see a lot more guns going on. Hold on, I, I, can I capture you? I really wanna capture you, dude. Please, come with me, dude. Hey, are you dead? Oh. <laughs> Maybe next time. <laughs> I got you, pal. Um, this looks a little bit uncomfortable for you. <laughs> oh, look at this. So we're finally finding a biome that's a little bit more desolate. We're still seeing uh, this same like statue architecture that we saw before. It looks pretty much the same. Two centaur-like pals here battling it out. But look at this, dude. Completely desolate. I wonder what type of pals are going to be out here. Level 37 ones, that's what types. All right, so I'm gonna come back to this area a little bit later, but absolutely gonna go ahead and grab this fast travel point while I'm here. So I finally found myself a slightly more level appropriate boss. Here is Beacon, the Wings of Thunder, level 29. Be right back. Bro, what is this? What is this? I have like a hoarder over here. Oh my God, here's all my wood. <laughs> oh, whoops, okay, don't, don't pick this stuff up. Yeah, she is completely bugged. I can't even pick her up. So I finally built myself a flame cauldron, right? So you place this in the base to improve your fire making speed. Um, and unlike everything else that we've seen in the game thus far, placing more than one of these does not increase the effectiveness. So uh, is that how you're gonna use it, Bushi? <laughs> like really, just gonna stay on top of it? Um, but apparently, oh yeah, oh yeah. That is good. Okay, so we're finally getting these ingots down to be a, just a little less annoying. If I'm gonna be stuck here holding down the F button as I craft, you know what? I might as well have a good view. <laughs> I'm joking. Are you FG? I mean, okay, let's do this. First things first, oh, I was about to clear the ads out. <laughs> the ad cleared itself out. All right, all right. So I think it's time, my friends. Let's see how rapid this uh, weapon is, right? So you have to ride him. And oh man, I can't see anything. Okay, that's his left click. <laughs> Great camera angle, FG, hold on, hold on. Here's his right click. Oh, yes! <laughs> so there goes the grenade launcher. It doesn't do much damage, but my boy is very low level. He's only level 15. This thing I'm fighting is level 29. But we finally have a taste of the, of the guns, so he can also shoot seeds at people. That's pretty cool. Oh, I got knocked off. I got knocked off. <laughs> oh, he's dead. Never mind. All right, you know what? Let's do this. Ads came back. The ads came back. Is this the end? Uh, maybe? Yeah, it is. <laughs> oh, no. Got my cheeks all exposed. <laughs> Oh, dude, I am so dumb. I thought I actually leveled up my Catrice. All right, so let's go ahead and level up as much of her attack as possible. I finally do have some purple souls over here. So real quick how this works, you start by leveling with the teal ones, then you go to purple, then you go to yellow. Um, since I've been using cats so much, I'm gonna go ahead and give her one of the medium ones there. I'm gonna give her a lot more hp -ness as well because she's just been really, really good with bosses, right? So let's see if we can complete this revenge tour before nightfall, and this time around, oh, y'all might go to sleep at, oh, wow, look at that aggro range. They already spotted me. Let me just slide in here. I'm just wanting, I just wanna get my corpse. 
Just want to get my corpse. All right, let's try this again. Cat is now leveled up. Yeah, I'm back. T take that question mark off your face. <laughs> Holy crap, he's destroying my cat. Yeah, even with these upgrades, it's just his uh, his attack patterns are just really strong against Cat like that. Um, yeah, Robin Quill can't beat. Dude, the Revenge Tour might have to take another day. Maybe we need to go uh, Flying versus Flying. Van Worm. Van Worm is down. Van Worm is down. I got uh, <laughs> I got King Packa. Can King Packa help? <laughs> Dude, I'm just going through my Pokedex. Dude, this is a sight to behold in the middle of the night. We got the fire arrows going, damage over time. King Packa ain't messing around. King Packa's down, King Packa's down. We're going airborne versus airborne. With the flame tornadoes. It might be time to just start trying to put her in a ball. I'm not gonna be able to get in range to do any type of like stun batoning though. Ooh, hey. I needed that. <laughs> I actually needed that, dude. I might not have actually won. The Revenge Tour was a success. We got Transporting Level 3, Generating Electricity Level 2, Gathering Level 1, um, can be ridden, of course, and looks pretty cool. But you won't be riding this beacon until level 34, so it's gonna be quite, ooh, an Ultra Spear. And I also captured one of its ads while I was fighting it, so check out the flavor text, right? This pal can easily take flight even while grasping a human. However, it's prone to letting go when tired. So it's not a, a flying mount, it's a gliding mount, which matches the flavor text, I love that. Um, also allows you to fire a gun while gliding with this pal. Interesting. Also, I grabbed a Univolt for just like obvious reasons because it looks fast. So I'm hoping that when I ride it, it's faster than some of the ground mounts that I have. Right? Ooh, yeah, I want you though. The mounts that I use to ride, both my King Packa and my Van Worm are both dead. So I have to walk back home. Uh, well, you know what? This is a victory lap. It's actually decently fast. Not too bad. All right, my little panda homie just might be the best mount ever. Check this out, dude. I'm going to get myself a nice little running start. And look at that. He can he can glide. <laughs> that is too awesome. So I'm going to be trying to farm King Packa every single time I have the opportunity because my plan is this, right? I want to have a situation where I have one, two, three, four, five King Packas in my team. That way when I go out and I want to do like some hardcore farming and gathering, I have the maximum carrying capacity possible, right? Um, but in the meantime, <laughs> it's grenade launcher time. And also, I definitely need to level up my Panda, dude. I can't wait till these actually do some really good damage. <laughs> right now, my Panda is only level 15. King Packa, he's level 23. He's shrugging this off like nothing. <laughs> All right, let's get serious. Let's go ahead and bring Cat out here. Hey, oh, how about one of those two? Let's see, come in range? All right, no. You think you're getting away? <laughs> so now your boy got three King Packas in his team, making my maximum carrying capacity 850. Uh oh, we have another fangirl attack. <laughs> I'm just spamming balls out here, dude. Oh, I see you up there. Oh, dude, you can lead your target. <laughs> oh, wait. Doing a real good job there, FG. No, no, no. Hold on. I got to use my doom, my doom training. Aim for the ground. Aim for the ground. <laughs> I'm sorry, girl. I'm so oh, hold on. Oh, hey, she despawned. Ah, oh, come on. But I was able to capture one of them. So here is the Lovander, the fangirls that raid your base in the middle of the night. Check out the flavor text, dude. Seeking a night of love. Hey, girl, I ain't down for them one night stands. You know what I'm saying? It is always chasing someone around. At first, it only showed interest in pals. But in recent years, even humans have become a target of its debauchery. And as far as her partner skill is concerned, it's called Heart Drain. Um, while fighting together, it grants the player and the Lovander the lifesteal effect. Okay. Which absorbs some of the received damage and restores HP. So I love a good lifesteal. She's also a pretty decent handiworker, medicine production, transporting, and a decent miner. And of course, some of her possible drops are those sussy juices. <laughs> and if you don't remember what sussy juice is, it's that drink that improves your mood but lowers your sanity. So just imagine those girls in the middle of the night, drunk on some sussy juice, <laughs> trying to get in your bed like bruh. So this is something I've been wanting to put in my main base for the longest time, right? So it's the large toolbox. This is gonna improve your handiwork speed. So this is just gonna make everything that I make in this base, my main base, um, just way faster. And I think it'll be kind of cool to put it like right here behind my, my workbench. 
Look who finally decided to add an additional floor to his base. Now, it's still a work in progress, um, but I did make this little monitoring stand. Now, look at this. So I have all my pals doing a normal work speed, movement speed, sanity depletion, and hunger depletion. I can make them hard working, which is cruel, which increases all of that to high, or I can make them super hard working, and it, they look like they're very miserable. But you know what? I'm just going to go ahead and keep them on normal. I just like the look of this where I can be like, hey. Everybody get to work. And I added a little bit more personality to my upper floor here. I got myself a nice table, an ottoman, a chair, a rug. I have a mirror up here. I, I plan a little bit later on to move my bed up here as well. It, it feels really good once you get to this point of the survival game where you can afford to like waste resources to make your building look pretty. It doesn't look too bad, it's not bad. So now Grenade Panda is locked and loaded. I just gave him 15% more attack. He's level 19, so he's almost getting there. So hopefully these grenades start doing a lot more damage now. So a couple of things as we're traversing through this mine shaft to go fight a boss, the maps in this game are not procedurally generated. Everything that you see in the map here, everything that I have unlocked, this was handcrafted by the developer. So everything that I show, you're gonna show when you play the game, right? Um, so in this cave, it's basically nigh impossible to explore explore it without a torch, it literally gets pitch black. Like you can't see anything. The screen is entirely black. So you can walk through this mine shaft if you have a torch in your hand, but what you're gonna find at the end, <laughs> let me show you. But what you're gonna find at the end is a level 30 boss, right? So in this game, you can't have a weapon and a torch in your hand at the same time. So if you find this place and you walk through it with a torch in your hand and you find this boss, you're not gonna be able to fight him. Like you're gonna be in complete darkness. You're just gonna die. So what you really need to do before you go into this little area is make sure you have a hip lantern this way you have lighting no matter what you're carrying um so now with all that being said let's uh hope i don't get destroyed so he's grass type water type i'm gonna go ahead and use cat here who's my fire type pal super useful always if i can kind of keep the aggro off on her it might be okay cat's getting a little weak let's go ahead and switch to grenade panda baby and i'm jumping on pick me up dude pick me up <laughs> So, oh wow, at least it has a knockback. Again, it's not super strong against bosses. Oh man, that's terrible. <laughs> oh no, how about, a, how about a rock to the face? He's so like stationary when he's doing those abilities. That is not good. Uh, King Paka, save, oh I'm dead, it's over. I'm. You just earned your spot on the revenge tour, baby. I'll be back. <laughs> Time to go wabbit hunting. Hey guys. Oh wow, okay. <laughs> you guys are a little aggressive. Okay, you're a lot aggressive. Dude, if I die to a gang of wabbits, no, no, I gotta get off my mount. <laughs> I can't be messing around with y'all right now. Dude, oh my God, they stunned me. Get off the mount, do something, run. <laughs> oh my God. Dude, I'm about to show y'all some real game, real, real game on this. <laughs> they killed my mount. Please, cat, help. <laughs> help! Dude, Wabbit's got hands! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> oh no! <laughs> the insult, the injury, rolling down the hill. <laughs> oh, not this time, buddy. You're not getting away. All up in your plumber's crack, baby. Come on. Man, he is hard to capture. Yeah, these Gigaspheres are no longer like they used to be awesome. Now it looks like I'm going to have to move up to Ultra Spears very soon. Even with the stun. Ooh, look at that. <laughs> That's what you call some bobbing and weaving. Bruh. Stun baton plus Gigasphere. Oh. How much HP does he have left? Oh, wow. And he's super aggressive, dude. I can't. I, don't kill me, dude. Don't kill me. <laughs> If he gets out now, I, I can't. I can't afford it. He's just too hyper aggressive, dude. <sighs> okay, another failed attempt at trying to get one of these Gatling gun dudes. Man. So some of the instance dungeons are really well hidden. Like, if you weren't really trying to look for this area, you would never find it. 
So as a person that absolutely loves dungeons and instance content, the dungeons in Power World right now leave a lot to be desired. They're just too tedious, especially without a mini map, considering that all the tile sets are so samey. Like it's so hard to know where you've gone and where you need to go. The enemies are constantly spawning, which once again, I said before, the enemy spawning is fine because hey, that's just another opportunity for you to get you know more pals and farm for materials. But just being so lost in these samey looking corridors is just not fun. The easiest way to fix us right now add a mini map that way we at least know where we're going or some type of fog of war option just like this so so that way we know we're kind of making progress in the dungeons but as of right now dude i just wander around lost and i just luckily find the end of the dungeon after a while but as it stands right now dude when you go inside of a dungeon you know you're going to be there in a while and it's not really going to be fun you're just going to be aimlessly wandering around until you finally find the boss and exit which uh, it could just be so much better but with all that tedium aside, it did give me level 25, so it's time for my makeshift handgun, a single shot handgun. Dude, is there such thing as a single shot handgun? Created from spare parts, requires coarse ammo to fire. All right, so let's go ahead and make this. Hopefully this is gonna be more enjoyable to use than the musket. So I'm building my second ranch. As you guys know, I have my first ranch at my main base that's just basically making an ample supply of fire organs. This one's gonna be focused on gold, believe it or not. <laughs> So these little kitties right here, and I assume every single type basically does the same thing. If you assign it to a ranch, it's gonna dig up gold coins. All right, little kitty, do your thing. Dude, this is the money, hey, where you going? <laughs> this is the money glitch right here, baby. So I've been wanting to build one of these PAL condensers for the longest time, so let's check this out together. Um, so select a base PAL. So I'm gonna go ahead and use one of these bristles. I have tons of these. So that's my base PAL. Now I need to select PALs to use as essences. And you can see here, all the PALs that are not bristless are grayed out, which means, of course, you can only use multiple bristless, right? So this gives you a usage. If you start collecting a lot of the same exact PAL, this is what you're supposed to use them for. So, so as far as I can tell, at the current moment, she's a no star. This is gonna make her a one star. It's gonna increase her max HP, attack, and defense, not by a massive amount, but if you're farming multiple of the same exact pal, you definitely wanna do this anyway. Um, it's also gonna increase her partner skill to level two. Let's see how, oh, your pals use as essences will vanish, yes. Uh, oh, that's, it's instant. Oh, that's nice. So there you go. If you take a look at my little Moo Cow pal over here, he has a no star. You have a one star, slightly better stats, and a better passive skill. You love to see. Okay, so before I make this gun, I need to farm a bunch of high quality pal oil. And it looks like this is probably going to be the easiest slash most plentiful pal to farm right in this area. I feel so bad hunting these things down, dude. Um, but they're like the perfect way to farm high quality pal oil, especially with cat. Oh, wow. Especially, oh my God. <laughs> especially with cat here um, because cat makes neutral mobs drop more loot. So this is just going to make it so much faster. Hello there, wandering merchant. Dude, my boy is not messing around. He has two guards. They're fully strapped. Let me see if you have anything decent though. Um, let's see. Oh, some skill fruits. Did not expect wandering merchants to have that. Mind control meds? Oh, wow. Yeah, but nothing I really need at the moment, and really, I can't afford it anyway. <laughs> now, if you want to commit a crime, you can actually just kill these guys, right? I'm sure the wandering merchant's not going to drop that many goodies, but you can kill them, um, but that's going to put you on basically the naughty list, and, a, and there is some group out there that'll basically start trying to hunt you down. Nice little dungeon in there that I'm going to completely ignore because I don't feel like being lost. Finally found this guy. He was hidden inside a mine shaft, just like the previous boss we talked about a little bit earlier in the video. Let's go in, I'm strapped, FG's got a gun. <laughs> oh, he's so small and tiny. Hey buddy, how's it going? Hey. <laughs> he looks cool though. Oh, he's not even gonna aggro yet? Come on, dude. Oh wow, he has a, fi a fast attack. Um, But it feels good to finally, finally go against someone that's a little bit closer to my level. Actually, yeah, I'm level 24. You're level 25. I've been fighting most things that are just like way out of my level range. Feels good to finally be able to do some damage to people. And this gun is actually not too shabby. It's not terrible. It's not great. But at least it fires at a decent clip, right? Literally. <laughs> no pun intended. <laughs> and that should be GG. Easy fighting bosses of the appropriate level. All right, I found yet another level appropriate boss right over here, only level 23, that's gonna be easy for me. Um, but what I really like is that he has his own statue right outside his little dungeon. <laughs> and the pose is like, come at me, bro. Like his arms are open. <laughs> I, I'm coming at you. 
Dude, there is such great flavor text in this game. So I just got myself a Sweepa, right? Um, so while hibernating, a large number of Sui, which is these little guys, hibernate within its body hair. The most ever recorded is 101. <laughs> also, you can ride this dude, which is kind of cool. Um, and his partner skill while fighting together, stats will increase the more Sui that are on your team. So you can basically rock three, three Sui and one Sweepa if you want to do max damage, if this is your thing, I guess. All right, so I have 6,288 gold. Let me see with my golden kitty collected for me. Oh my God, get it, golden kitty. Bruh. Oh, <laughs> uh, hold on, there's a little bit more over there. And one more right there. All right. Oh, wow. <laughs> Dude, I thought I was gonna be rich. <laughs> More fangirls. I've never seen these out in the world outside of these raids. So I'm going to take the opportunity to try to get as many as I can. It's hard to do so because, uh, you know, your entire base is uh, basically attacking them. So I'm just kind of just throwing my balls randomly. Uh, I'm just throwing my balls randomly at the, hey, fangirl, come here. Take a ball. Oh, she's going to die from damage over time. <laughs> Elizabeth, Elizabeth, I'm about to get me Elizabeth. I'm just gonna drain out all my vermworm stamina first before I come down there. I might not even have to land. She is really weak against fire. Okay, we're landing, we're landing. Let me hit her with my pickaxe apparently. All right, go away, Van Worm. And you are mine, Elizabeth. I got plenty of balls this time. Uh oh, here comes a squad. Here comes a. <laughs> they do not play around. Hold on. Dude, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> okay, let's do some stun batoning. Oh, wow, she's gonna kill me. Okay, I shot her once. I don't wanna hurt her. I mean, <laughs> I just wanna enslave her, you know what I'm saying? I don't wanna hurt her. All right, I might have to shoot her one more time. No? Okay, I shot her. Oh, can I still have her? Please? Does, does this still work? Wait, wait. I I think that worked, dude. I think that actually worked. Elizabeth, Elizabeth. I got myself an Elizabeth. So while fighting together, stats will increase the more B guards you have on your team. So once again, just like those sweepies we saw earlier, if you run with three B guards and then one Elizabeth, and imagine having all of them completely duped out, you're probably looking at some real power there. So I just got this little edgy teenager out of a dark egg, dude, like uh, just a free pal. Um, life still is gonna be the partner skill. As far as like working the base, they only do medicine production. So this is probably gonna be a pal that's better off in combat. Oh, unfortunately, only level one, so we're gonna have to do some combat with him in the party for a while. Um, but a pretty decent passive skill with Vanguard and a bunch of empty active slots, but I can fix that. This pal is called a Foxicle. I have to have this thing. Okay, I was just about to die trying to get this Foxicle, but check this out, baby. My Van Worm, even though this is not listed in his pal decks at all, if you're riding a Van Worm over here in this little freezing cold area, you're gonna be warm. <laughs> Very cool. I haven't found one of these Nintendo Switches in a long time. All right, I just want to look inside. I want to see what the next gym leader looks like. Ooh, oh, lady. <laughs> it's a little cold out to be dressing like that, girl. All right, let me see what type of pal she has. Oh, bro, I didn't kill one of these a long time ago. Little healing pal. <laughs> okay, that's cute. Oh, she's serious now. Lily and Yilligan. Oh, wow. She has 70,000 HP. So, yeah, this is going to this is gonna be yet another uh, do it in the future type of thing. Unless maybe, let's see. Because last time I said that, right? And it just looked like it had a lot of HP, but it wasn't really that tanky. Oh, wow. I thought that was my stuff. That was my bad. I walked through that like a dork. <laughs> I do some pretty good damage. I'm using my fire arrows, which are going to be mad effective. Uh, oh, if you stay bugged, I'll beat you all day long. <laughs> oh, come on, dude. I've been pillar humping ever since I started this game. It didn't work. <laughs> Cat came over like, hey, you all right? You good? You don't look good. You good? 
<laughs> I froze to death. I was trying to get on him as fast as possible. Okay, this was my bad. I thought the pal leader was actually using this pal, but no, she was using this pal, a pal I ain't never seen before. That's that's the only reason why I lost. <laughs> hey man, let me help you with that cloth right there, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> this old creepy penguin? <laughs> He's so proud too. Oh, oh man, you should have known better than to let me see them exposed cheek. What if I just like hit up here? Oh, you can't shoot from here, but I can shoot from here. <laughs> the slowdown kind of messes that up a little bit. Dude, bullets, man. This dragon is so cute, but then she puts on her like her game. Oh, she puts on her game face after that. Uh oh, cat's down, cat's down. And it is time to put you in a ball. And it's time to put you in a ball. One more little shot. That's what I needed. Just that one extra, two extra. How about one more? Don't give me that look. <laughs> Am I going to have to stun you? All right, let's do some stun batoning. Ooh, this acid rain looks pretty awesome. I hope she keeps that ability when I get her. Some wishful thinking there, FG. Nah, nah, nah. Let's go for the stun baton. The stun baton is just a little buggy, dude, because, you know, when you're doing... Oh, this is not good. But the stun baton is just a little buggy, right? Thank you. So the problem with the stun baton is that you have to be in melee to use it, right? Makes sense. But when you're in melee, you're kind of like, sometimes you can clip inside the pal. And if you throw your ball, it just goes right through it. So hopefully that's something they continue to work on. But now we are level 26 and we have all types of goodies. Um, we have two new saddles. I might use the Rayhound because this Rayhound looks really, really fast. A mounted crossbow to protect your base, which is starting to become a thing. Like there's been a few times I've come back home and I've had like pals dead all over the place. So, so it's getting to be right around that time that I'm gonna have to put some defenses up. We're getting some actual lamps instead of torches and a power generator. And you guys know, when you start putting power in your base when it comes to survival games, it's almost time for that automation. Spearline factory, production factory, actual handguns that are not janky, frag grenades, weapon line factory, circuit boards, spearline factory two, an electric kitchen. And it looks like electric everything. So electric medical workbench, electric furnaces, rocket launchers, and of course, a mounted missile launcher. Level 95 dragon, such a cutie, can be ridden as a flying mount, enhances dragon attacks while mounted. So nothing super special, just a really awesome looking dragon. Early access pros and cons. Pros, the entire outdoor zone can be traversed without a single loading screen. It's beautiful, it's varied. You got multiple different biomes, and crazy enough, it runs extremely smooth. The pals are incredibly well done and expressive. Visually, you can see when they're happy, hurt, dead. Some of the flavor text and lore that accompanies the pals are just like downright hysterical. The ability to ride them, glide with them, fly, swim, and equip them with like a small army's worth of artillery, dude. Like pals never got boring. And with over 111 pals to collect so far, and I'm sure more on the way, they definitely knocked this aspect of the game out of the park. Pal World has one of my favorite build, survive, craft type systems that I've played in a long time. You can definitely see that this genre is starting to evolve because everything here within these systems just makes sense and nothing feels like it was just added there to fluff out the tech tree. Very, very well done. Power World has that really uncommon, let me just unlock one more piece of gameplay before bed and it just made it really hard to put this game down every night. I just wanted to capture one more pal or craft one more thing or just beat one more boss. I poured in over 30 plus hours of gameplay on the normal difficulty and I'm only halfway through the tech tree. And just as I'm ending this recording, I'm just now getting to the automation and the breeding stage of the game. So I'm really happy to see that Power World really bucked that trend of early access games. You guys know what I'm talking about, like those half finished, poorly optimized early access games that we've been getting in the last few years. There is plenty of game here to last you easily over 100 plus hours of gameplay on the normal difficulty. And that's just like, I, I think I might be 
be undershooting it there a little bit. Especially if you're like me and you're a big time collector or you're clever enough to do these intricate builds or min-maxing your automation. There is plenty of game here and I'm hoping that's just the start. But there are some cons. So at first I was really excited to see that this game had instance dungeons until I actually had to do them. And that's really unfortunate because the very best loot is found within these instance dungeons, but I couldn't push myself to keep doing them because the tile sets were just so very samey, copy pasty, made even worse because there is no mini map. So I was constantly getting lost in dungeons because every wall and every rock looked basically the same, all while I'm battling respawning mobs trying to figure out where I've gone where I'm going, where's the boss room, how do I get out of here? So I'm hoping they put a little bit more care in the instance dungeons, maybe make them a little smaller. I know that sounds bad, but at the moment without a mini map and as big as these dungeons get and as samey as every tile, rock, and stairway look in these things, uh, I feel like you're probably better off just making them smaller for the time being while they work on these mini maps, maybe kind of revisit this later. Whatever, whatever needs to be done, there needs to be some attention to instance dungeons. Now for my pros list like 30 seconds ago, I said the pals are just so incredibly well done. The pals are also on the cons list as well because as good as they are, it's so frustrating when they have so many issues, whether they're getting stuck on the environment or if they're just not responding to combat quick enough. Like when you throw one of those pal spears, I want my pal to immediately just go on the offensive. But there were so many situations where I would throw out a pal and they would like stand around for like five to 10 seconds before they actually functioned. If they functioned at all in certain situations. Again, not making excuses. This isn't early access. So I assume, I hope, I implore them to continue working on the AI for these pals. And with all that talk about the pals being the star of the show, there is one person that didn't really feel like a star. Your, your main character definitely takes a back seat in this game. And I, and I sort of kind of get it. Like it's all about the pals, but I really wish I could be doing something else in combat besides firing my really slow crossbow over and over and over and just simply avoiding damage. Like I really felt like my main character's only purpose is to throw out a pal and do a little bit of tick damage until they got low enough and captured them. Like I really want my main character just to have a little bit more. Now in the tech tree, I saw things like bear traps and things of that nature. I'm talking about like, give me some special skills. Like give my, give my main character just a little bit more than just firing a weapon over and over and over with left click. But really the fundamental foundation of the game is extremely solid. And a lot of my cons feel like they can be ironed out with just more patches and updates that address some of the AI issues with pals, the pathing, and I would be shocked if they don't add more like special skills for your main character. So some of these things may be just kind of racked up to it just being an early access, but hey, they still ask them for money, so I have to make it known. Pal world, I recommend it. What am I like, skill up or something? <laughs>